da. All right. Let's sit down and enjoy this. Wonderful. I just realized something. <laughs> so if you are wondering... <laughs> I'm gonna delete that, actually. Don't need it. Um... Peeps in the know. Should I change my title to include a content warning? Probably. And the content warning being uh, anything pertaining to Radical 6. I should probably include that. Which means I have to state- that's the thing, it's like, I don't want to spoil it, but I'm probably- yeah, I'm gonna include it. Yeah. Because it's just, I don't, it kind of, it doesn't, it's not like it comes out of nowhere, but for a fictitious thing, it's pretty extreme, so I feel, I have to, I pro I have to include those. At least for Twitch. I don't think I need to make a command or a timer for it, but... Well, we will include that. Like, if it was something like Persona 3, where it was really mild and you're like, you understand it, and it's not like heavily discussed or mentioned explicitly, I don't feel like it's absolutely necessary, but there's an ending. There's a bad ending. A game over, to be more specific. And Alice and Quark. Like, I definitely would say it's a bit more heavy-handed than anything that comes up in 999 that could be similar. I don't think, since it's not a super focal, uh, mention 
in ze uh, Zero Time Dilemma. I don't think I have to add a content warning for that. But... For this game, uh, I'll add it. I'll add it. But yes, hello everyone. Uh, uh, YouTube, specifically. <laughs> We're playing Virtue's Last Reward. 35 hours the first time you played it? I mean... This is the... We have played the game before, so this is probably not accurate to a first playthrough. Um, and we agreed that we will be playing on normal, or is it easy? I don't remember what the difficulty difference is, but we won't be able to do the gold pass word stuff immediately in exchange for seeing funny dialogue. Hard and easy. I'm playing the game on easy, although I'm still going to use my cheat sheet journal to make it a little bit faster if I feel like I'm struggling. <laughs> That's a lot of extra talking. Yeah. But, uh... This game is a work of fiction. All names, characters, incidents portrayed in this are... fictitious. Ah. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Damn it. Feels like my head's gonna explode. Wait. Where the hell am I? Looks like an elevator, but... Isn't that obvious? Ah! Who the hell are you? Um... Hello? Right. Okay. Let's try a different tack here. Where the hell are we? Also, while we're at it, why? No response? You always this friendly, or did I kick you while I was sleeping? Damn. No luck there either, huh? I'm plenty friendly. What? I said I'm plenty friendly. Hey, looks like you could talk after all. I guess is that you? <laughs> so, let's try this again. Where are we? Don't know. Hmm. Well, could be worse, I guess. He could have said, actually, we're stuck in a booby-trapped elevator in the bowels of a top-secret government facility where they conduct grotesque human experiments. Right, uh, back to the first question, then. Who are you? By which I mean, what's your name? Sigma. Cute. <laughs> That's my name. I'm asking you what- could have said don't know. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Wait a second. How do you know my name? I haven't met you before, have I? No, you haven't. I don't have any idea who you are. But... But what? How could you know my name if you don't have any idea who I am? How the hell am I supposed to know? I just know it, okay? Hey, no need to bite my head off. It's just, you're not really making sense here. And you still haven't told me who you are. Shut up! Just back off, Grandpa! G Grandpa? Look, I just don't know, alright? It's just kind of... there. Like, I looked at you, and some part of my brain just said, That's Sigma. Hold on a second. What do you think this thing is? Huh? This bracelet? 
See, you've got one too. They're pretty much identical. Y yeah. Yeah, you're right. Where'd they come from? It was on already when I woke up. I haven't figured out what it's for yet, though. Well, doesn't seem like it's a watch, does it? No. It's just got a three and the word pair. Yeah. <sighs> what are you doing? Trying to get it off. Good luck. I spent a while trying to get mine off while you were napping. It's on pretty tight. It's right once a day, like a watch. It doesn't even have a clasp or anything. A broken clock is right twice a day. Unless it's a digital, in which then it's only once. <laughs> what about these buttons on the sides? I pressed them, but nothing happened. <laughs> Not even a beep. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Nothing. Damn it! Oh, what the hell is going on here? Somebody better start explaining or. Hey, look! What? There's something on that screen over there. Wait, what? Behold. How are you feeling? I am Zero the Third, the king of this kingdom! What? What the hell is that? A rat? A rat? <laughs> uh, no, pretty sure it's a rabbit. I'm sure you've got lots of questions. It just seems silly to have a big old chit chat right now. So, I'm gonna give you a game to play! Hello, Theta. You got here just in time for Virtue's last reward. <laughs> we just started. <laughs> I may move chat. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna move chat. You guys are in a weird spot right now. The bottom corner doesn't really work. What if I put you right here? Jigsaw has never been more adorable. <laughs> a game? Yes, yes, yes! And I'm calling it the Nunnery Game! Ambidex Audition! There's more to it! Lots more! But if I told you now, that'd be cheating. So, hurry up and get out! I'll be waiting! Uh, hey, hold on! Who the hell? Uh, Alright, I forgot to tell you the most important thing. What have you missed so far? Uh, we got in our car, we got knocked out, a bunch of images flashed in our face, we woke up and there was this girl sitting on the floor, and when we were like, where are we? Who are you? She was like, Sigma. And we're like, that's cute. That's our name, not yours. Questioned her how she knew, and she said she didn't really know. Just that something in her brain told her, upon looking at us, that we're Sigma. This elevator you're in? It's gonna fall in a few minutes. Way down. Yes, our character's name is Sigma. F fall Yes, indeedy. So you'd better get moving. I'll see you later. Hm. Have a nice trick. Yeah, yeah, see you next fall. Uh, that joke wasn't any funnier in elementary school. Oh, I get it. Trip and trick, huh? Don't tell me you're impressed. Oh, for the love of... Damn it. Damn it! God damn it! This is bullshit. That stupid rabbit didn't tell us anything. How are we even supposed to get out of here? Ah, uh, well, I guess whining about it isn't gonna help anybody. We won't be able to get any answers if we can't get out of here. You with me? Come on, just nod or something. I don't want to die here any more than you. Let's go. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Yeah. 
Yes. You'll have to restart the stage. That's fine. More dialogue happens. Oh yeah, you turn like this. Four. It's not pressing... Whoa. Oh yeah, we have Memo now, so now we can do this. <laughs> yes, the, the white-haired character is... the girl. My goblin canvas is superior drawing. <laughs> so why are these colored like this? Oh, hey, this end is loose. Can you take it off? Let's see. Handle green. Oh yeah. Now we don't have to menu to it. There isn't like a quick menu option. It's an icon that looks like an old person. Hmm. Huh? Why'd it light up? Didn't do anything earlier. Yeah, you can. Maybe that was because the game hasn't started yet. So you think this button does something? Dunno. Let's take another look at it. Handle yellow. <laughs> Thank you. Probably the handle for some kind of tool. The grip is yellow. I think it's... Oh, that's the quick thing for file. Or <laughs> Okay, so it must be up then? No, it's that's not it. Is it tab? Tab opens items. Oh my god, how do you actually give me a second? Save Z. Control and WASD, okay. That's annoying. Oh, Q and E move his camera, thank god. Item screen is tab, item switch is V, got it. So now. Okay. What do you think this means? Hell if I know. It's just a bunch of pictures of babies and old people. Why don't you see if you can get it off the wall? Try counting the number of babies and old people. A fire extinguisher? What's something like this doing in an elevator? Isn't that obvious? It's here in case there's a fire. Oh, you're just saying that there's some sort of thing in here that'll start a fire? It's not out of the question. Come on, don't do that. I won't be able to do anything if I think there's something in here that'll set us on fire. You never really get to use fire extinguishers much, do you? I guess, but do you really want to be in a situation where you have to? Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. Only you can prevent forest fires. 
you know, I don't think I actually know how to use a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Our name is Sigma. We don't know the name of girl yet. And that's the fire extinguisher pin. What are you waiting for, Sigma? Come on, don't tell me you haven't figured out what to do with that pin yet. Take a good look at it. Doesn't it look like a key? Are you gonna make me spell it out for you? I wonder if we could bash this door down with the fire extinguisher. I think I'll let you try that. It's probably full of explosives. The only thing that's going to get extinguished is you. Uh, hey, come on now, that's scary! Unless a fire breaks out here, I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of use for it. Hmm. I wonder if I can just force it open. Damn, no good. Stupid thing won't even budge. Trying to force it is pointless. We need to find another way out. Hmm. Full aim spray sweep. These look like instructions for using a fire extinguisher. Really? <laughs> yeah, but what it actually says seems weird. Yeah. Hey, doesn't this explain how to open the fire extinguisher case? Really? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's saying something like, pull out the fire extinguisher pin and put it into the keyhole. These instructions aren't about how to use a fire extinguisher. They're about how to open the fire extinguisher case. Apparently, they, they tell you to put the fire extinguisher pin into the keyhole. Amazing. This looks like a case for a fire extinguisher. Let me see if I can open it. Damn, no good. Is it locked? Looks that way, yeah. Hey, Sigma, how about you try using it here? <laughs> using what? A fire extinguisher case with a keyhole. She said I should try something to use something here. <laughs> All right, let's see if this pin can open the lock. Hmm. Looks like it worked. Excellent. Okay, time to see what's inside. What's this? Polyurethane packaging? There are a few pieces of metal in here. Well, to be fair, the Nonary Games is a duology. The Zero Escape series is a trilogy. The third game, Zero Time Dilemma, is not a Nonary game. Not to say that nine people don't participate, but it's a little different. We'll see when we get there. Four of them. They look like sockets for socket wrenches. Each one has a different shape, though. Yeah. Well, we might as well take them. You're not a nonary game. <laughs> it's a baby. Hey, have you seen a baby in here? Goo goo. Sorry, another baby. Stop screwing around and think. Don't you remember seeing some babies? Hmm. What if I just keep interacting with it? Look at this panel. Do you think the number of babies on the poster might have something to do with it? Stop telling me to view the icon. I'll do it later. <laughs> Brinner. Ah. Elderly ladies and gentlemen, better. <laughs> she said something mean. Oh. 
Probably the handle is blue. What the hell is this stupid thing? It's huge. I have played this game before. Is it an ATM? Hmm. I see. Then do you think the safe down here is stuffed with cash? Wow! I've been raided! I have to sh do a shout out! Hello, Day Nightfall! Okay, cool. Be nice. No, it wouldn't. We have bigger problems than money right now. Like, I don't know. Getting the hell out of here. How are you doing, Day Nightfall, by the way? Well, you don't have to yell about it. What a greeting. Square metal box. Looks like a safe. Yeah, I wonder what's inside. Something someone wants to keep safe. What else would you put in a safe? Well, what do you think it could be? A cracker. What the hell is so important about a cracker? Okay. How about a Thai deposit box? Doing persona stuff? Nice. Uh, uh, what? What does that even mean? Let's just try and open it. Ow. Well, there's some kind of pad on the front with a 3x3 three three grid, right? I'm guessing that's how you open it. Hmm, right. Let's give it a shot, then. Oh. Damn, no luck. Well, of course not. You're not going to get far, just guessing. We need to find a clue. There's a little panel here with a keyhole. The opening in the center is covered with transparent plastic. I can see something that looks like a button through the plastic window. Oh. <sighs> and was like, okay. Ah, Mara. It's probably one of those press only in case of emergency buttons. Hmm. Well, I'd say this is an emergency, wouldn't you? You ready? I'm gonna push it. Damn. No good. The plastic is too thick. Hmm. Don't they usually make these things so you can break the cover in case of an emergency? Yeah, but this isn't exactly a usual situation. Ugh. That zero guy probably messed with it. There's a keyhole here. We probably have to unlock it before we can press the button. There's a rabbit here on here earlier. Some nut job calling himself Zero the Third. This is some kind of mouse icon. <laughs> the first one. It's a rabbit. How many times do I have to tell you? Do you think there might be some kind of connection with that Zero the Third guy we just saw? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock. <laughs> I won. That's not scissors, that's rabbit. Hmm. Zero. Third. Isn't there something kind of odd about these buttons? Uh, what? Well, how many elevators have you seen with a zero floor? Oh, yeah. Do you think there's some kind of connection between that zero guy and the zero button? I mean, slot, right? They're the same thing. It doesn't matter what you call it. It's a hole to put cards into. We don't know things go into it. I... Darn it. Or maybe this is correct. Uh... One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Oh. One, two, three, four. Oh. Oh. Hey, Sigma. Did you just hear a noise? 
What noise? Um, I think it was over here somewhere. That's a memory card. It came out of the control panel, remember? Yeah, it's red. There it is again! It's right here! That's a memory card that came out of the control panel. It's blue. Ooh. Hey, it turned on! Looks like this thing is working now. It's greenish, glowing with a strange light. Does it not even show you the password unless it's on... Wow. I didn't realize it would do that. <laughs> Should be correct. Yes. Yeah, the music in this game is pretty good. I mean, I liked the first game's music too, but. Still hold it on, genius. You're not finished. What am I, your servant? Hmm, looks like you got it off. Alright, that's a green bolt off. Yeah, good job, you're a regular mechanic. Excellent, that's the red bolt gone. What are you asking me for? Okay, okay, jeez. Ah, oh, goddammit. Mm -hmm. What's this? Looks like some kind of maze. Do you think we're supposed to solve this? Probably. All right, I'm on it. Sweet. I did it. You're pretty good. Hmm. This, this is kid stuff. I could do it with my eyes closed. Ah, oh, look at this. Hmm. Something came out of the box. Oh yeah. Is this a memory card? Green memory card, huh? Yeah, got it from the maze. Sun, moon, star. Oh god, it good, it does show us both, thank fuck. So I can just get both passwords for all the rooms, and then, um, go back to these rooms on hard. Nice. This isn't what it showed us last time. Hmm, different password. I'm curious what happens if I put Sun Moon Moon in. Like, is it just empty? Oh, right, you don't get the gold file. You did it. Good job. <laughs> Piece of cake. Ah, 
We'll read those another time. Sun, moon, star. There we go. The sun is a star. It is. Huh? That's odd. It opened with this password, too. Hmm. Maybe it has two types of passwords. Look, it has different stuff in it now. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's got a false back. See? You can just flip around. Kind of like those hidden passages and mansions and stuff. So if you put in a different password, you get different stuff. I think so. Right, well, that's enough of that. Grab the stuff. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Is this a key? Hey, it is a key! We found it! Awesome. Now hurry up and use it. <laughs> Agreed. Let's get out of here. You ready? I'm gonna put the key in. You don't need to ask me every time you're going to do something. Just hurry it up. Right, right, I know. Here goes. Stop talking and do it. Yes, it unlocked! Hmm. So now we just have to open this panel. Are you ready? Just do it! All right, all right! Message received! Here we go. Three, two, one. And push! Oh. It opened a hatch in the ceiling? Countdown <laughs> until you do something about Tiger and she gets angry at us for it. No. Why does an elevator have a ceiling hatch? You found it! Alright, it's open! Now let's get the hell out of here. What? What's wrong? Oh, yeah. I guess it's a little high for you, huh? I'd say that's at least six feet. Maybe more. All right, then. Uh, climb up on my shoulders. Your shoulders? Yeah, that's right. Why? Something wrong? What? What's that look supposed to mean? What do you think I'm gonna do? Oh, come on. I'm just trying to be rational here. No ulterior motive, hand to God. Not like I'm open to get my face sandwiched between a girl's bare thighs or- <sighs> I knew it. You sick bastard. Uh, I was just kidding. Right, look, I'm just trying to get us out of here. You got any brilliant ideas that don't involve your thighs? Fine. On your knees. What? You're a little tall for me to just jump up on your shoulders. I hope this is the last time he is a perv, says somebody who's played this game before. <laughs> I'm certainly not going to give you the satisfaction of making me climb. So kneel. Oh, uh, okay. There. Ready. Bring it on. <laughs> Thanks. A little step up is just what I needed. What? Wait, what are you going to do? Quiet. Here. We. Go! She, she can fly?! How in the hell? Yes. If that is Igus' voice actress, then yes. I'm bad with names, but I, I recognize Strassman. Alright, give me your hand. What? Oh, uh... Oh, what the heck are you? Well, I'm not Superman, that's for sure. And I'm not Batman, or Spider-Man, or Aquaman, or Merman, or a Wolfman. I'm not a Brahmin, or Common, or Ramen. I'm not a caiman either, so you don't really need to worry about anything. 
My name is Fi. I guess you could say, I am no man. <laughs> Aquaman, best known for flying. Just come on. One of these days, Witch King. Whoa, what's up with this place? Sure doesn't look like an elevator shaft. Some kind of warehouse, maybe. Or a hangar. So, we were in an elevator that doesn't... elevate. Yeah. It wasn't going to go anywhere. When that rabbit said it was gonna fall, he was just screwing with us? Yeah, he was just screwing with us? <laughs> so it would seem. Then why? Forget it. Look. More people. Looks like an old guy, a young man, two girls, and... A kid? They're all wearing bracelets. I'm surprised you can tell from this distance. Probably safe to assume they're trapped here, too. Right. Well, let's go say hi, then. And you thought Lotus was fan service in outfit. Hello, person. <laughs> Where is your shirt? Hey! Hey there! Any of you guys know what the hell's going on here? Dear God! <laughs> no, we don't. I haven't been out here much longer than you. They grabbed you too, huh? Grabbed? Oh, uh, yeah. I got in my car. I went to start the engine, and then there was this white smoke. I think we all shared that particular experience. The smoke seems to be some kind of general anesthetic. When I woke up, I was in one of these elevators. All five of you were in one elevator? No. Mr. Dio and I were in the same elevator, but... Wait, which one of you is Dio? That would be me. This little guy here is Quark. Nice to meet you, mister. Uh, right. Nice to meet you, too. Hi, not Goblin Ken! <laughs> Quark doesn't even come close. Well, no, reverse that. Quark is a bean. We like Quark. Tenmi OG Alice and Luna all woke up in different elevators. I forgot to read that. Also, hello, Dio. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. No, you've got it right. So, you'd be Tenmyoji then, right, sir? Yep. And Alice is... Me. She's Luna. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. Um, hey. The fuck is up with that hat, my dude? <laughs> and says nothing about the rest of his outfit. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. What's she so nervous about? And you are? Oh, right, uh, I'm Sigma. And this bundle of laughs is Phi. Good to meet you all, I guess. Say that again. And this malnourished harpy is Phi. Better? Bastard. Um, are you two... Ha! Not likely. That elevator was the first time we'd seen each other. I... think. You think? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. We met, just now, in that elevator. Shirtless wonder. That's the truth. Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, see your bracelet there? Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Hmm. And yours. Fi, right? Now let me have a look. Hmm. I thought so. What? Quark, you and Dio show them your bracelets. They both say pair and have a number three. And you were done. 
colors. Just like Fi and I. No, wait, the color is different. Ours are red. And yours are blue. Oh, sharp eye there. What about yours, uh, sir? Ten Miyoji, right? Mm. Show him yours too, ladies. Oh. Red, blue, and... In? They're different. You've all got threes, but your bracelets say solo. Right. You figure it out, then? Uh, figure what out? Sigma and I are the red pair. Dio and Quark are the blue pair. Each pair got put in the same elevator. But Tenmyoji, Alice, and Luna were all solos, so... So they got put in their own separate elevators. Hmm. Okay, that's great and all, but... What do pair and solo mean? Don't got the foggiest idea. Well, that's helpful. I don't know why we're split up like this either. Does anybody know what the three means? Maybe it has something to do with the game. Game? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes! And I'm calling it the Nogami Game! Harper Dex Audition! Audition! <sighs> Sorry. You guys saw him too, right? Soon, Doc Brown, not Haru, not GK, shirtless wonder, and wannabe Slash! <laughs> that rabbit thing? Yes. In the elevator. <sighs> he said something about the elevator falling. The others explained that after they'd escaped from their own elevators, they'd gone around the warehousey room we were in and tested the doors. Unfortunately, it turned out they were all shut tight and impossible to open. They had been about to try and open this door, the one with a nine on it, when Fi and I appeared. So, any chance this one will open? You think we'd have done it last if there was? There's some sort of, I don't know, machine off to the left here, but... We'll give it a shot, why don't you? Hmm. Looks like force probably isn't gonna work either. Damn. Well, I didn't really think that'd work anyway. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to force that door with anything short of a tank. Alright, well, how about those three doors over there? I told you already! Ugh. Each one's got a digital lock on it. We can't pick the lock, and we can't break down the door. You sure about that? Why would I lie? Hmph. <laughs> okay, are there any other ways out? No, unfortunately. Not that we've found, anyway. Great. Well, there is one thing I'm a little curious about. And that is? I was the first to escape. That means I know who was in which elevator. I watched all of you come out, after all. And? Well, I was in the one-third from the right. Tenmyoji was the second out. Your elevator was second from the left, I think. Mm, good memory. Yeah, that's where I was. Third was Luna. You climbed out of the rightmost elevator, didn't you? Yes, that's the one. Dio and Quark were next. You came out of the elevator next to Luna's, right? Yeah, we did. And finally... The two of you were trapped in... The third elevator from the left. Wait, then... Yes. No one has come out of the leftmost elevator. Are you... Are you saying there's still someone in there? I can't say for certain, but it does seem strange. Maybe we should go take a look. Yeah, good idea. Hey, anybody in there? If you can hear me, just, I don't know, make some noise. Nothing. Hey, look at this! Ambidex? Room? Is that some kind of card reader? 
Maybe it unlocks it or something. There's one next to each door. What do you think Ambidex's room is supposed to mean? Well, it says it on all six of the elevators. Maybe it has something to do with the game that Zero was talking about. Oh, the Nonary Game Ambidex Edition? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think we really need to worry about that right now, though. We should be figuring out what's inside this thing. Anybody got a keycard? <sighs> nah. I got nothing. Not even dirt. So they've taken everything we were carrying? Wonderful. The rest of us dug through our pockets as well, but it was pretty obvious that Dio was right. My own were completely empty. There wasn't even any lint in the creases. Maybe there's no one in there. No. There is. There's gotta be. <laughs> what makes you so sure? Huh? Uh, well... Um... What's that? Look! It's opening! There was someone in there! What the... Who the hell? Clover! Yeah, they, they usually just use still shots for it, but it's okay. I don't think it detracts, it's just different. Limitations. Clover? Are you okay? Clover! Wake up! What's going on here? Do these two know each other? What did you do to her? Nothing. She was like that when I woke up. I really wouldn't worry, though. She should be all right. Her breathing is steady. I believe she's only sleeping. Then she hasn't woken up since they kidnapped her. Uh, kidnapped? Begging your pardon, but I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. Where are we? And who are you? Whoa, hold on. How about you tell us who you are first? You leap out of that box dressed like some kind of robot carrying an unconscious girl, and we've only got your word that you didn't make her that way. I think you owe us an explanation, pal. I'm... Hmm... Who am I? What? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. I have no idea where I am, who I am, or even what day it is. Ace, <laughs> you need more life experience if that's something you've never seen before. If you happen to know any of those things, I would very much appreciate it if you shared that information. Not knowing one's identity is... vexing. Oh yeah, very original. The amnesiac routine. <laughs> Please. How are we supposed to take you seriously when you're wearing this, this, this robot suit? We can't even see your face! Are you gonna tell us someone forced you into that thing? I assume so. It seems the most reasonable explanation. When I woke up, I was wearing this... armor, I suppose you could call it. You look pretty calm for a man who doesn't know who he is. Look? That's an odd choice of words. <laughs> I'm wearing a mask. How would you know how I look? Uh, you know what I meant, you smartass. Uh, oh, she's waking up. Clover, are you okay? Come on, talk to me. How uh, is, where are we? Once Clover had woken up, Alice explained everything we knew so far. She listened silently until Alice mentioned Zero and the Nonary game, and then her eyes went wide. What? No. No, that can't... The blood drained from her face, and she wrapped her arms tightly around herself. What did she know? 
As Alice continued to console Clover, the rest of us turned to questioning the mysterious man in the mask. When did you lose your memory? When? That's a difficult question. I suppose... when I was born. I don't remember anything of my life. Assuming I had one. We asked him everything we could think of. Birth date, address, occupation, family, childhood. But all he did was shake his head. I think he has generalized amnesia. It's a type of memory loss. People affected by it retain knowledge like language, social common sense, memorized facts, abilities they've learned. But anything that has to do with um, themselves is just lost. It's a very serious condition. Most research suggests that it's mainly psychological, not physiological. But in very rare instances, it has been shown to result from severe head trauma. Do you have any idea what might have caused it? Hmm. Maybe I had a really bad breakup? <laughs> it was making a laughing sort of noise. But his expression didn't change. With the mask on, there was no way we could tell if he was smiling or not. But his voice sure didn't make it sound like he was. Bullshit. This guy's obviously full of it. Don't tell me you're actually buying this. Dio's outburst was greeted with an awkward silence. It wasn't that we trusted the robot man, per se. Only that it seemed clear he was in the same boat we were. There was a bracelet on his wrist, too. Close inspection revealed that his armor fit around the bracelet. In other words, the bracelet was attached to his arm like ours and not simply part of his suit. And just like ours, his hand on it had a three on it. Or his had a three on it. It said pair below the three, and all the text was bright green. Clover's bracelet was exactly the same. How long had we been there? I still hadn't entirely shaken the last traces of sleep out of my head, and my brain felt foggy and cluttered. Had I been asleep for hours? days? There was no way to know. They'd taken my favorite watch when they grabbed me and given me the bracelet instead. And unless it happened to be three right now, three o'clock right now, it wasn't going to be very useful for telling time. With no windows in the warehouse, it was impossible to even guess what time of day or night it was. Time could have stopped, and we wouldn't have had the first idea. Damn it! No dice. This thing won't open. Didn't I tell you that? Yeah, well, I just thought... There's a box here. Maybe it's some sort of locking thing, like the ones next to the elevators. I don't think it's a card reader, though. Huh. Hey, what do you think that is? What? That graffiti over there. See? On the wall? Oh, yes, that. I was wondering what that was. Two milkmen go comedy. She and say, is that you? <laughs> I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Maybe it's saying that a pair of milkmen decided to become comedians? Still just kind of sounds like nonsense, though. I think it's somebody's way of saying hello. Uh, what? You heard me. Yeah, I did. I just... What the hell was that supposed to mean? It's an anagram. An anagram? Yeah. They tried a lot of names before they worked it down to Tella. Come on, seriously? You've never heard of an anagram. It's a kind of, um, wordplay where you move the letters around to create something else. Right? Exactly. Watch. With the tip of her boot, Phi spelled out two sentences in the dust on the floor. Two milkmen go comedy. Welcome to my kingdom. Oh. Okay. If you switch it around... Yeah, that makes sense. Huh. Hmm. Exactly. Seems like somebody was expecting us, doesn't it? 
Yeah, but... Where are they? Pretty rude to invite somebody over and not even offer them a drink. True, but you're assuming that Zero isn't one of us. What? Huh? Look, over there. Shame on you, Fido. You can't say what I'm about to say before I say it. Zero. I've got a plan, you know. I can't just tell you everything at once. Although, things are starting to get exciting. <laughs> Where are you, you little bastard? Too scared to come out and face me like a man? Are you an idiot? I'm a rabbit. You really think a talking rabbit is a real thing? Of course I don't. You're some kind of CG rabbit or something, probably. That's not what I meant, though. Oh! You meant you want to see the person who's controlling me? I guess God touched this one a little too hard. <laughs> I love Zero the Third's dialogue. What? <laughs> Weren't you listening to Fido? She's clever, you know. Wait, then you're saying Zero is one of us? Well, yes. I guess that's one way to put it. Are you really sure? You're responding to our questions and stuff right now. That means you're not just, like, a, a video somebody made. <laughs> Cat's best hats, you. <laughs> Uh, that's- I can't wait to get to the second anagram, because I love the- the- the dumb anagram for it. <laughs> the one that's not in the game, but somebody was like, hey, it means this, and it's really- it's funny to me. Even though it makes less sense <laughs> than the initial burnt thing that it's scrambled from. Wouldn't that mean that Zero would have to be controlling you and sending you answers right now? Because it doesn't look like anyone's doing that. Well, of course they aren't. I'm an AI. What? I'm an artificial intelligence powered by a quantum computer. Zero is the one who built me, of course. So I guess that makes one of you my parent! <laughs> now, are you a mommy or a daddy? <laughs> That would be telling. <laughs> now, with that said, I guess I should probably tell you that I'm not the one who brought you here. I mean, obviously, I don't even have a body. I'm just the facilitator for this facility. I just do what I'm told to do. And what do you facilitate? Didn't I say? Oh, the Nonary Game Ambidex Edition? Correct! It's my job to make sure it runs smooth. No, it's supposed to be over. There she goes again. She knows something. So, what is the Nonary Game? Nonary refers to a base nine numeral system, but can also mean something that is, in some way, related to the number nine. Nona can be used as a prefix as well, where it means essentially the same thing. Therefore, it stands to reason that the Nonary game is a game that deals with the number nine in some way. Exactly. Nine is a very, very important number in this game. After all, nine is your goal. Goal? Yes, goal. You see that door in front of you. That's your goal. If you can open the door with an eye on it, you can escape. What do we have to do to open it? Yes, yes, yes. Let me explain. Look at your left wrists. You see the bracelet? Of course you do. Now, tell me, Fido, what number is on yours? A three. What about the rest of you? They're all the same. We've all got threes. Exactly. I'm going to call those numbers... Bracelet points. 
If you're feeling lazy, you can just call them PP. Only the people who can get their number to nine or more will be able to open the door with a nine on it and escape. See the box on the wall? That's how you'll get out. Anyone with a greater than or equal to 9 DP can pull that lever and the door will open. However, there are three rules you haven't forget. One, the number 9 door will only stay open for 9 seconds. When your time is up, it will close automatically. So, so be careful. careful. <laughs> Sorry. Two, the number 9 door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. over. It will close for good after nine seconds. So if you're not careful, you can get stuck. Three. Now, maybe some of you are thinking. You're thinking, oh ho. If my BP is too low, then I'll just have someone with enough BP open the door. And I'll just slip through when it's open. Well, that's not gonna happen. There's an echo in the stream. <laughs> Are you sure that's not just me imitating the voice? <laughs> if you think you can be sneaky, well... Well, <laughs> well what? Oh, I... Oh, I really shouldn't say that yet. <laughs> All you need to know is that anybody who tries to sneak out gets hit with, with a, a big penalty. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Down in front! I'll tell you later. Um... Yes? Why did you start making rabbit puns? Uh, well, um, because <laughs> I felt like it. They thought it might make me sound cute. <laughs> Never mind that. You still haven't told us what we need to know most. How do we get BP? Oh, that's easy. Just use the Ambidex room. If you like abbreviations, you can always call it the AB room instead. You mean those, uh, elevators? Gold star! So how do we go about using them? How else do you use a room? You go in. <laughs> you mean through those hatches? No. I had a hunch you might try that, so I closed those up tight while you were talking. So don't be hatching any hatch plans, you understand? I live in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this good warren are under my control. How do we get in then? We tried the doors on the front. They're all locked. There's a card reader next to each one, isn't there? All you gotta do is slide a card through, and there you go. And where do we find those key cards? Well, we don't got them. There weren't any in the warehouse. Real quick, I wanna check... No, the settings should be correct, unless they all reset. Oh, uh, uh, well, no. Of course there wouldn't be any there. Then where are they? I think you'll find what you're looking for behind the chromatic doors. <laughs> chromatic doors? Right there! You see the three pretty doors just to your right? Huh? Hold on. I thought those doors were locked. Quirk. What? You see those buttons on the sides of your watch. Can you press them at the same time? Why? To make little boys ask questions. Just press them, please. In fact, why doesn't everybody press their buttons as well? <laughs> hey, what's this number? The two digits on the left show hours, and the two on the right show minutes. Does that mean it's 12.10 in the morning? No! Oh, the numbers are going down. It's going from 10 minutes to 9. So, that would mean this must be counting down to something, right? Correct. I don't even need to explain the rest, do I? I'm guessing this is the time until the chromatic doors unlock. Ding, 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 ding! Very impressive, Ten Mioli! No. <laughs> All right, let us review what we've learned. In nine minutes, the chromatic doors will open automatically. However, just like the number nine door, they won't stay open forever. 
You have five minutes. Once your time is up, the doors will close no matter what. So I hope you've gone through by then. That's just the primary door. Oh. What? Each door in this warren has a twin. Isn't that nice? The chromatic doors aren't any different. There's one door on this side, one door on the other side. Unfortunately, the secondary chromatic door on the other side is locked too. <laughs> Couldn't make it easy for us, could you? Of course you'll all have to split up. Split up? Yep. Cleaver, can you tell me what the three primary colors are? Why are you asking me? Because you're the only person who hasn't talked to me. I try to communicate with as many people as I can. It helps me improve, you see. I'm trying to get into the rabbit of doing it all the time. Now, answer my questions. Do you know what the three primary colors are? Well... Y you mean red, green, and blue? You're supposed to be able to make any color by mixing them, right? So which colors would you mix to get magenta? Red and blue. How about yellow? Green and red. What if you wanted cyan? Blue and green. That's right! Now, take another look at the nice bracelets you're all wearing. Notice how they come in three vibrant colors? Yeah, yeah. We get it already. The red and blue bracelets can open the secondary magenta door together. Green and red can open the yellow one. And blue and green can open the cyan door. I miss anything? Wonderful! I think you grab it. There is one other little thing, though. You're talking about what happens if you've got two of the same color, right? Yep. What do you think happens? Green is blue and uh, color theory, but with lights, not painting. Yeah, it's a little strange, but if you mix red and blue colored lights, that'll make magenta. Because in um, the other form of color theory, that would make purple. The primary colors, uh, they are considered primary colors in some circles, but not like art from an artist's perspective. Green is typically not. How the hell would I know? It's like if you mix all the colors together in art, it would turn into black like paint, but if you mixed all the colors together with light, it would turn white. Yeah, it's... <laughs> they didn't really explain it in that regard correctly, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen some Reddit posts of people arguing about that, like, no, it shouldn't be that, and it's like, well, if you're talking about lights, it is like that. <laughs> they just don't specify that it's lights. <laughs> If you want to open a door, but all you've got is one color, then you can use that to open a door with the complementary color to the one you've got. Hmm, I see. So if you've got red and red, then you can open the cyan door. Blue and blue can open the yellow door. And green and green can open the magenta door. Right again! Yeah, luckily the game doesn't like help makes you doesn't make you math it out <laughs> looks like your brain hasn't rotted away yet ten mioli uh, just what the hell's that supposed to mean it means exactly what it says I was trying to compliment you you know oh well let's continue shall we there are two types of bracelets pairs and solos that means there's two types of players too pairs and solos in this game, the two members of a pair are considered to be a single entity, which means they share the same destiny. Isn't that a good deal? I mean, you get two for the price of one! <laughs> yes, they care immensely. They want to make sure we understand. <laughs> Unfortunately, it also means they care and split up. Aww. Both members of a pair 
player have to go through the same chromatic door? Solos don't have any restrictions like that, though. I mean, why would they? They're forever alone. But that means that they can go wherever they want! Yay! Now, let's take another look at all of your bracelets. <laughs> I can look see that. Ziggy, <laughs> what color is your bracelet? Uh, red. Are you a pear? Or a solo? I'm a pear. Fight him is next! Tell us about your bracelet. It's just like Sigma's red in a pear. What about you, Alas? It's red, and I'm a solo. Bio, work? Blue. Pear. Yeah, mine's the same. Moody, Cleaver, Tavioli, all at once! I'm a blue solo. I'm a green pear. Green solo. I don't know. I'm pretty sure some people have looked into it, but it is interesting how colors behave differently based on what form they're in. And finally, uh, who are you? I'm, uh, let's see. I suppose you can call me K. I knew it. You were just lying about that amnesia crap. I'm not lying. This was just a... How do I put it? A flash of insight, I suppose. I saw the letter K. So? What does K have to do with anything? I wish I knew. Sadly, I have no idea. Does it mean anything to you? Asshole. Come on now, boys. You can fight later. Now, uh, K? Can I call you that? Yes. I'm guessing your bracelet is the same as Clover's. That's right. It says pear, and the text is green. Okay, I'm glad we got all that bracelet business out of the way. Now, let us return to the subject at hand. How do you open the secondary door? So, Siggy, what would you do to get through the magenta door? Well, Fi and I can't split up since we're part of the same pair. If we're red, then I guess we should pair up with Luna, right? Since she's a blue solo. Or you could work with Mr. Dio and me. We're blue too. Whoops! Oh, celery sticks. I forgot to tell you. You have to have exactly three people in your group to open the secondary door. That means you can't have two people, or four people, or, well, anything other than three, really. <laughs> then our only choice is to pair up with Luna. And also, it's a good thing no one seems to be colorblind. If, if the people in this game had colorblindness, I would hope that they would be nice enough to at least assist that person. so far. What do I have to do to escape? Open the number 9 door. How do I open the number 9 door? I have to get 9 or more bracelet points, also known as BP. <laughs> How do I get more BP? I don't have the whole answer to that one yet, but it looks like I have to head into the Ambidex room to get it. How do I get into the AB room? I'll need a key card for that. Where is the key card? Zero said it's on the other side of the chromatic door. What do I do to open the primary CD? Nothing, actually. Apparently it just opens on its own after a certain amount of time. Pressing the buttons on both sides of the bracelet simultaneously shows how much time is remaining. How do I get through the secondary door? For starters, there's a limit to how many people can go in. 
specifically three people. If combining the colors on the bracelets of those three people gives you the same color as the door, then the door will open. If everyone has the same color, then you can open doors with that color's complementary color. Matching. Red and blue magenta, green and red yellow, blue and green cyan. Complementary. Red and red cyan, blue and blue yellow, green and green magenta. Good? Excellent. It looks like none of you have any questions. Yay! <laughs> Huh? No, wait. Uh, we have questions. Of course we have questions. What's the point of this game? Why did you take us? Where are we? And and who the hell is the real Zero? Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Oh, so sorry guys, but it looks like your time's up. You better hop to it and get those secondary doors open! Fuck that! We aren't gonna open shit! You can take your lamery game and shove it up your ass. If you think we're just gonna swallow your psychotic crap and play along, you've got another thing coming, you smart-ass little rodent. I'm a rabbit. Shut up! Well, shoot. I thought you might say that. Unfortunately, you have no choice but to follow the rules. Dio tried uh -oh. a pun. He did. Why is that? When the time comes, those three doors will automatically close. If anyone is left outside after they close, they'll... They'll what? They'll be penalized. You keep saying that. What the hell is this penalty anyway? Well... contain two drugs. The first is an anesthetic called Soparil Beta. The other is a muscle relaxant called Tubocurarine. Your bracelet also has a bunch of needles on the inside. If you break the rules, those needles hop out and inject you. First is the Soparil, which puts you to sleep. Nine minutes later, the Tubocurarine is injected numbing your respiratory muscles. It took five the longest to comprehend and react to death. I guess you could say it'll, it'll really, really take, take your breath, breath away. You should know that the Soparil is only there out of the kindness of Zero's heart. Oh, and, and I mean the real Zero. Mm -hmm. Not me. Zero just doesn't want to see anybody suffer. Isn't that just so compassionate? If I had a heart, it'd be melting right now! Anyway, all it means is that you'll die pretty painlessly, so hey, there's nothing to worry about, really. Of course, none of that will happen if you just follow the rules. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. I know we were just told that we were gonna die if we broke the rules, but can we appreciate this track real quick? Nosy, we have to move! <laughs> okay. <laughs> well then, looks like it's time for me to hop on out of here. Good luck, guys! So there was poison in the bracelet. It seemed a little hard to believe, but it wasn't like I had anything other than a computer-generated rabbit say either way. What were we going to do? There was a lot to think about. Throat noise. Why? But we didn't have very much time. What are we waiting for? We need to go! We need to get through these other doors! But how do we figure out which door to go through? 
You still don't get it? <sighs> Fine. Just pay attention, we don't have much time. Zero's explanation was pretty confusing, so let me put it in small words for you. There are only three possible options. Option A. Poison has to be in jail. This is true. Sigma and I pair up with Luna. Our red and her blue can open the magenta door. <laughs> that would mean Clover and Kay would go with Alice. Their green goes with her red to make yellow. <laughs> No, it's it's fine. I mean, would you have pegged Sigma for a being all that smart? <laughs> that just leaves Dio and Quark as the blue pair, and Tenmyoji as the green solo. The only door they can open is the Cyan one. Got it? Option B. Sigma and I go with Tenmyoji, so we can use red and green to make yellow for that door. That means Clover and Kay pair up with Luna to open the Cyan door. This leaves Dio and Quark with Alice, and together, they can open up Who the Magenta Who is smarter, door. Junpei or Sigma? Uh, depends on what aspect, but I would think, generally speaking, because Junpei, he kind of, he's really down bad for uh, Akane, so sometimes he says dumb shit. <laughs> okay, then who would win in a fist fight, Sigma? <laughs> I have, I have the advantage of having a visual identifier to separate the two in terms of ability. Sigma is tall. Let's put that, let's put it like that. <laughs> Junpei is not. And finally... Not that that means automatically that one would win or the other would lose, but... I just think about... I just think about the 3D models and I go, Yeah, there's really no way Junpei's winning this unless he plays dirty, huh? <laughs> Which, yeah, he does fight dirty. <laughs> Option C would be where we pair up with light colors to open complementary colored doors. That means Sigma, Alice, and I go through the Cyan door, Clover, K, and Tenmyoji go through the Magenta door, and Dio, Quark, and Luna go through the Yellow door. Problem is, which do we choose? Please, Sigma, choose something. What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Why me? If you don't want to, then maybe Alice or Clover can choose. Or Tenmyoji or Dio or anyone. Once one person chooses, everyone else's decisions will be made for them. But please, you have to hurry. We're almost out of time. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. Who needs kick <laughs> or just punch? I don't think Junpei is above punching someone there. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll pick. But he seemed upset. He probably knew as well as I did that we don't have time for bickering. I took a deep breath and spoke. Okay, fine, I will go with Luna. I think we'll pair up with Luna and head through the magenta door. Are you guys good with that? Sure. All right. Then Clover and I will go with Alice. As long as I get to go with Alice, I'm fine. <laughs> Luna Bailey. <laughs> I don't have any objections. We'll be going through the yellow door, right? That means Dio, Quark, and I are doing the cyan door. Ugh, stuck with a kid and some old fart. I can't see how this could possibly go badly. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and you'll pull your head out of your ass. What did you just say? Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Nine, eight, seven. We need to hurry. Not everyone has been in 50 bar fights. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get moving. Three, two... One, zero, chromatic doors closing. She kind of looks like she's straight out of the Flintstones, doesn't she? If it weren't for all the other accessories. <laughs> oh, it's the map, guys! Look, it's the map! Everybody loves the map! <laughs> 
the map that literally makes that literally makes the game take an hour longer than it actually is because because a compilation of all the times you go through the map in the game unsped up is an hour long. What is this place? Didn't you see the door? It said this is the lounge. Lounge? Does that mean there's somebody living here? Well, there doesn't seem to be much dust. Maybe there is. Hmm. So you've got a well-used lounge right next to a big empty warehouse. Yeah, I think Alice is probably one of the coolest characters in this game because she's like, hell yeah. She's, she's pretty badass when she gets to be, but her outfit is beyond bizarre. Like, Lotus at least wore a shirt. Like, her argument against Seven, hey, I'm at least- I am wearing clothes at least. You can't argue that as well for Alice. I really don't know what's up with the necklace thing, but she's just shirtless, but also she's just comfortable wearing that. <laughs> what is this building for? Beats me. It looks like there are four doors in here. Yeah. The one we came in, the one opposite it, and two more on the left and right. The two on the sides are covered with metal plates, though. Don't think we'll be opening them anytime soon. I guess that just leaves this one option. Me needing to sneeze? <laughs> no good. This one's locked, too. I didn't see any other doors in the hallway we came through. Thank you. Maybe we can find one of the keys to the AB room in here somewhere. That was one of my more violent sneezes. Well, it's not gonna find itself. Let's go. What's this? A note? <sighs> Southern Hemi Hemisphere. Picture with a cover on it. I may. I enacted this uh, like maybe halfway through the game, but unless the interaction is humorous, I'm probably not gonna read anything out loud because there is already so much reading have to do, having to be done because Sigma is not voice acted, unlike Junpei. So even though nothing is voice acted in these, I'm like, I probably shouldn't just to save my voice the trouble. like a banana hanger. What? Is that even a thing? Of course. You've never seen one? Well, anyway, it only looks like one. I think it's something else. There's one scene I'm reading, though. We'll see. R-R-L-R-L-O-E-D-I. I M L I O O N R. <laughs> Onen. <laughs> I 
Alice is there. Ah, oh, yes, I will definitely read that. Is that mold? <laughs> it's like astronomy. Astronomy magazine? Wait a minute, 4.50 p.m.? Ooh. Ah, yes. Three customers came in today, a couple on their son. The father sat in the center with the mother on the left and the son on the right. When I came to take their order, they said the following. My wife likes the color red and I like white. My son has always liked ocean. Mother, my son has loved the color blue ever since he was a child. My husband likes island and I like planet. Son, my mother and I like moon. My father likes anything green. One of them was a liar, but I swiftly made their drinks and handed them over. Depends. Ah. 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 <laughs> hey, come on. That was a real sneeze. It was dusty. You can just puke into here. That's not what it's for. Also, I forget. It automatically, like, defaults itself back to, uh. What the hell is this? A helmet? How on earth does this look like a helmet? Well, if it's not a helmet, what is it? Maybe it's a bread maker. Or one of those automatic cat feeders. What? You get a fresh loaf of bread? That's... I'm not gonna dignify that with a response. <laughs> It has a button. <laughs> I think they might be clock hands. <laughs> you know, I was in a bar this one time. What are you, some kind of bar contour? Ugh. Oh, come on. That one was genius. No, I don't think so. It's Jack Daniels. Except, I don't think it actually says that. <laughs> there are a lot of bottles here. How'd you like to have a drink? How'd you like to have a drink with me? Huh? Oh, um... You really think this is a good time to be making a pass at someone? She's getting all nervous now. <laughs> Drool, you want some? Just a little. Can I? Of course not. Why not? I'm actually really friendly drunk. That's not the problem. <sighs> Jerk. Fi is staring them like a f at them like a fox in the hen house. It feels so passionate. Maybe this would be good for trying to woo a girl. Wanna try some, Luna? Hey, I see what you're trying to do. Some animals use yellow as a warning to predators, so maybe this is a warning to us to stay alert. <laughs> Why she, like, has her hands up to her forehead, like... It's cute. Ooh. 
<laughs> Mine always makes me think of wedding dresses. I'd like to wear one someday. <laughs> that means you're single, right? <laughs> Your face is scaring me. Hmm. You know, my favorite color is green. Just looking at it makes me feel happy and calm. I think it matches you, Sigma. <laughs> Why is that? Well, you're wearing blue. That's pretty straightforward. Sun. Maybe that means the alcohol content is so high it'll burst into flame and sunlight. Drool. Looks good. Don't drink it. Alcohol of the moon? Makes me think of Japanese sake for some reason. Drool. It almost- it also makes me want to drink it. Don't! <laughs> I wonder if it comes from an island. How interesting. Don't drink it. No. No fire. Bad. <laughs> I hope it's not salty. Now I want to try it. Don't. <laughs> Planet. That's a pretty weird name. But with our powers combined! <laughs> nice Captain Planet reference. Um... There we go. I don't know. Experiment. Alright, let's give it a try. Four fifty. Green sun. How about four fifty? That puts the shorthand at green and the longhand at sun. A green sun. What? Ah! My eyes! Whoa! <laughs> a curved piece of metal shaped like a bow. The beam of light would be perpendicular to the string if the bow was strong. Oh. <laughs> Green old sun. So you made this northern hemisphere by putting together two hemi-hemispheres. Northern Hemisphere with disc. Yes, yeah, very interesting. I'm missing something. Oh! I didn't even see that! Jesus! <laughs> I'm blind! <laughs> Covered by the Earth's shadow. It actually reflects light so it passes through the Earth's atmosphere, but this makes it appear to be red. Red moon! 
wait a second. What about the red letters? You just get L-I-O-N. Lion. What does lion mean? You seriously don't know? A lion is a mammal. Order Carnivora, Family Felidae, Genus Panthera. I know what a lion is! What I don't know is what the word lion means here. Well, why would I know that? A red moon and a lion. There has to be some sort of connection. Hmm, a red moon and a lion. So, blue planet. Blue planet, red moon, green sun. Uh huh. That is moon. Okay. The glass is full of liquid now. Looks like we've made a cocktail. Yes, we have. A red moon. Sing lit up. Looks like it's made a it's made to light up when you put a cocktail. Let's try putting on some on the other coasters. Green! Hey, good job. All the coasters are green. Green means I got it right, right? So this is a green password. Sure, no sweat. I've got pretty good memory. Pokes brain. I guess po no, po pokes the side of his head. But now... Oh, why waste it? Drink the thing! I'd like to, but what if it's poisoned? See, I think it's better if I just pitch it. who's not going to use their brain because I wrote it down the first time I played the game. Or we can be nice and just look at the memo right now, I guess. Goodbye, cat. So... We've got three people. The father, the mother, and the son. The father claimed... I guess I should write this in red and this one in blue. The father claimed that wife likes red and that he likes white. And 
that sun likes ocean. Mother claims that sun likes blue. Husband likes island. And that she likes planet. Sun claims that he likes moon. Fuck my strong. And his mother also likes moon. And that father likes green. One of them was a liar. I don't remember how you eliminated this. I just... messed with shit. I think what you determine... Oh, shit. Let me rewrite this. Cheat. Yeah, I clear this. We're gonna keep this like this, though, where it's like this. Boop. Because this will determine a couple in their son, the father sat in the center, the mother on the left, and the son on the right. Father claims that wife likes red. He likes white. And that his son likes ocean. Mother claims that son likes blue. Husband likes island. And that she likes planet. claims that he likes moon. His mom likes moon. And that dad likes green. So from this, I believe... Uh, it's because of these. Like, this is planet, this is moon. This is island. This is colors. This is ocean, this is moon. So, by crossing whichever one it is, we know that... This could be a pair. 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 Or this one can be a pair. I wish there was a fourth color so I could better, like, combine this. I guess if I did like this. Red moon or red planet. White island or green island. Blue ocean or blue moon. Right? <laughs> MFS is a self explanatory abbreviation. <laughs> the 
Venn diagram. <laughs> So from here, it's a red planet, or red moon. White island or green island? Ocean. Four. So. The sun is the liar. I don't remember how or why you figure that out. I think it has something to do with if he is being truthful, these two have to both be lying because of if the father is lying, planet moon is not a mixture. And if the mother is lying, white green is not a mixture. You can only mix a color with a celestial body. Or an object, because island is not a celestial body. <laughs> That's how you determine that the sun is the one who's lying. Which means, now, I gotta make that... Uh... Is that ocean? Yes, it is. Make the blue ocean first. They're nice. That's island, right? Yes. We need red planets. Yeah, it's cool. We call that Mars. And we know because the father sat in the middle that his goes here. And from the bartender's perspective, this fucked me up too, by the way. Uh, he says, mother on the left and the son on the right, which means we put the mother is on the right and the son's on the left because it's his perspective and we're putting them on the bar from the customer's Ooh. perspective. <laughs> like a few steps too big brained. I feel like if you get the drink colors right and you don't pay attention to the order that they sit in, it's like, oh. <laughs> and it ended up making this puzzle take a lot longer for me the first time, for sure. Because you can't just put them in any order. You have to put them in the order that the bartender states 
from the customer's point of view. <laughs> ah! <laughs> huh. It's blue this time. Yeah, they're all blue. There's something happening on the screen. Huh? It changed. Now there are different shapes in different places. Well, it's probably related to the safe somehow. Can you remember this, Sigma? Give it to me! We don't need those drinks anymore. Sun, sun, moon. Awesome, it opened. Good job, Sigma. Mm. Well done. Ah, yes. Ah, uh, yeah, this is, the silver files are just extra information that the game do doesn't, like, explain to your face. Elevator door. Most elevator doors open horizontally, but this one opens and closes vertically. Most elevators also include... and It's referring to warehouse elevators. Most... Uh, normal elevators do open vertically. Uh, most elevators also include a safety feature that prevents the door from closing if anything obstructs it. These doors have no such safety feature. Ooh. Ah, yes. Uh, bracelet one. Same rules as the first Nonary game. The, heart, the bracelet can only be removed if the game is completed or the person dies. <laughs> AI is short for artificial insemination, which is a process by which eggs are fertilized without the use of a male organ. It is commonly used in the breeding of dairy cattle and pigs, but also has been... Oh, I'm being told that in this case, AI stands for artificial intelligence, which is another thing entirely. <laughs> Words Zero the Third says before he leaves, there are a few variations. Have a nice trip, have a nice trap, have a nice trainer. <laughs> A B game. Whoop. Don't read that one. So it's just like extra information. We probably won't read all of them, we'll only read the gold file ones. Like actually sit down and read them, unless it's funny. But that's, you know, for another time. Star, star, moon. Down there, okay. Eh! Huh? I guess there's another password that can open it too. So it would seem. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Let's see. First we've got a map. It says Flore in the corner. Yeah. Take a close look at it later. There's still more stuff in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna do all gold at the end because I'll have both. I'll, I'll go for the blue passwords so that way we don't have to solve the room again. And I'll open them and get all the silver files. And then skim through them quickly. Because the gold files are where, like, the more interesting information is. For sure. I mean, it's not like the silver files. Yeah, obviously get code the first time, yeah. Key cards for the AV room. I think the answer to that is in the safe. Read this note. There are a few more rules for you! Once you've opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you like! The chromatic doors are like that too! 
Once you open them, even I cannot keep you from going in and out of them. <laughs> Any color of bracelet can go through them. And as many people as you like. But, 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 you have to escape before you can take advantage of this free reign rule. Once you've activated a chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle beyond, it will warrant to let you go back until you've solved the puzzle. I see. So in other words, once we get out of here, we can get back to the warehouse. Right? Ah, seems like it. <gasps> you did it! That key is just what we need! Now we can get out! Yes! <laughs> you do understand how a lock works, right? Shut up, five. <laughs> I keep telling you, you don't have to ask every single- I'm not asking you. I'm asking Luna. Uh, oh. I'm- um, I'm ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. You found it. Yee! Another elevator, huh? Do you think it works? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dunno. Only one way to find out, though. Hey. Someone's coming. I hear the bells. Looks like Alice, Clover, Kay... And Dio, Quark, and Tenmyoji! What's going on here? We ran into them a little bit ago. Well, not literally, of course. I don't know. With a prowl like that, I imagine you run into a lot of things. Let me see the map. Oh, uh, sure. Map! We love the map, you guys. Definitely. I think you can begin to start to see why the map in this game is kind of annoying. It's beautiful. <laughs> ah, I get it. All three routes end up here. That's the same as the map we found in the infirmary. Cool. Infirmary? I know oh, where I am at all times. We found a map like that too. <laughs> ours was in the crew quarters. That's so. We found ours in the lounge. Hmm. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. No, there's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. This is just like the other floor. Yeah, and we're in a warehouse. What did you think? <laughs> it was gonna open up to a five-star hotel? These doors have colors on them, too. The one on the left is green. Oh, you meant the chromatic doors. <laughs> Come on, a map with icons that move when we do is pretty cool. I mean, yeah. The one in the middle is blue. <laughs> I guess. The one on the right is red. Are these chromatic doors? I haven't taken my break yet. It wasn't here when I switched. <laughs> Thank you. I was just presented a whole pizza. You redeemed it though? Well, wait, when? Oh, God. No, I mean, like, I took a break when I switched games. Look, right there's when a I box got here. Out? It looks like the ones we saw what? earlier. 
Oh god, that didn't appear in my chat history. That was supposed to appear in my chat history. It did not. Let me scroll up just to be 100% sure that it didn't appear. Oh my god, it didn't appear. Why did it not appear? Chat, what the fuck? And it didn't appear in my requ It hasn't been appearing in my requests queue, honestly. I don't know why. It's kind of stopped doing that. Between XC and It's Beautiful. Yeah, it didn't appear. What the fuck? Twitch, did you, did you do an update or something? I'm supposed to be able to see when that goes off. What's the point of me telling me that I should take a break if it doesn't appear? <laughs> Lock, huh? Yeah, just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Is something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. Yeah. I took one when we switched, and then I took one when Hart said he needed one. Oh. No, I'm fine. But it looks like my guess was right. The numbers have changed. Numbers? Oh yeah, the time left. Looks like two hours. Six minutes! Uh, for fuck's sake. You telling me we're gonna have to just sit around here for another two hours? Hmm. hmm. Looks like we don't have a choice then. We gotta head back. Quark, why don't you show them that note we found? Sure. Oh? Did it say something like supplementary rules? Because if it did, we have one too. We found ours in the infirmary. I am now partaking of pizza. Yeah, we found one too. It was in a safe in the lounge. And we can all go back the way we came and get into the warehouse. I don't think Zero's saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? You mean this? The Ambidex room key? We found some too. Make six then. One for each AB room. Let's head back to the warehouse. Uh, so when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? You don't like it, stay here. Stupid angry mutt watching the door sounds about right. <laughs> Asshole. Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. Well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? All right, fine. I'm going. A very angry man, Dio is. about this is I don't have just pizza on a plate. I have the whole box on my desk. So I'm kind of like, where do I put this? So, this is the lounge. Yeah. Loungy. Meat lovers. It would seem Zero's notes were telling the truth. Which means you got pepperoni, sausage, and Canadian bacon. Getting back here was easy enough. That means we could all go visit the infirmary too. Or the crew quarters. Yeah. Hey, Grandpa, check There's this like out. a barbecue chicken pizza. 
But I didn't really, f I wasn't feeling chicken. Some of your favorite scotch. Oh, oh. Uh, tempting, but I don't really think now's the time. Whoa, hold on. Grandpa? Since when were they buddies? Or had they always been that close? In other words, they'd known each other before the Nonary game. And if Quark was calling Tenmyoji Grandpa, maybe they were even related. Alice and Clover seemed to be close, too. Just how many of these people knew each other already? Let's go, buddy. As soon as we get out of here, I can drink all the scotch I want. You can drink all the root beer floats you can stomach. What? You're gonna get me a root beer float? But, are are you sure? Do you have enough money? Oh, ye of little faith. I found an old factory full of rare earth metals the other day. Hmm? I should make a root beer float. If you've got the materials. <sighs> ah. Oh, you're finally done. You were taking so long. I hopped off for a little nap. Ah, for yawning? Really? You're just a computer program. You don't get tired. Hey, B.O. My temper's got a hair trigger, and you're awfully close to pull. So I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Otherwise... Well, you really need me to spell it out. I forget it. <laughs> That's a good boy. Alrighty! Let's get back to what we were talking about earlier. Namely, how do you get more BP? We go into the AB rooms, right? Look. We've got some keys for them right here. A and Quark have two each, so we've got six all together. But who goes into what room? <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Anybody can go into any room. But there are only six rooms. Didn't I tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny! Then you mean both members of a pair need to go into the same room? Yeah! 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 What do we do after we go into the room? Play a game! Just like it says on the door! You play the Ambidex game! Wait, what's Ambidex supposed to mean anyway? I would guess it's short for ambidextrous. Most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands, instead of favoring the left or right, but it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. It's a game of betrayal, then. Well, yes, I guess you could put it that way. Then what's the nonary game? Ah, oh, that refers to the whole enchilada. In the, the whole enchilada. Is a game where you try to open the number nine door and escape. The Ambidex game is just a mini game you play as part of the larger one. Make sense? Like hell, this shit is confusing. Is it? Quark. Uh, he is not like is this thing, it isn't he? You're just a few carats short of a bushel. My head perfectly covers his face, unfortunately. Arrogant little bastard. If anyone appears on the bottom left, I if you, they're obscured. <laughs> well, that's just how I am. So you better get used to it. Ah, uh, now could I have you all move to the AB room, please? I'll give you more specifics once everyone's inside. I think it'll probably be easier to understand that way. Okay, Quark and myself each gave one card to Luna, Alice, and Tenmyoji. Then we headed into the AB rooms. 
and there wasn't really any discussion of who'd go into which door, and Fi and I found ourselves heading into the leftmost room. <laughs> Looks like everybody else has gone in already. Think we should head in, too? Why are you asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. Okay, okay. An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. What? This game's got a time limit too? What? 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 What the hell? Who is this? Fuck if I know. Look, it doesn't matter who she is, just get everybody over here! Yeah, right. Hey! Guys! Guys, get over here! We found someone! There's a... a lady over here. She's unconscious. I didn't wait for a response, just turned around and followed Fi into the room. We knelt down next to the woman and turned her over as gently as we could manage. All that greeted us was... Blood. She's covered in blood. I leaned down to listen at her mouth. Nothing. No breath. With shaking hands, I felt against her neck for a pulse. No movement. Just cold skin. What the hell were you yelling at? What's going on here? Is she? Quark, don't look! Somebody get Quark out of here! Uh, okay. C come on, Quark. Then... she's... Yeah. She's not breathing, and I can't find a pulse. Her body's already cold, so I'm guessing she was... I'm guessing she was murdered a while ago. Murdered? Does this look like an accident or a suicide to you? Hmm. Looks like she was stabbed. Don't see a weapon around here, though. That means either the killer took it with them, or it was part of them. Part of them? Well, if someone was strong enough and they had metal hands, then they might be able to stab someone in the heart. What are you suggesting? It's just a joke. Don't take it so seriously. Whatever. If we examine the wound, we'll probably get a better idea of what the weapon was. Let's get her to the infirmary. She might be old, but she's still a woman. If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. Come on, boys, let's go. Dio, K, and I gingerly lifted the woman up and carried her to the infirmary. Perhaps he just didn't consider himself one of the boys, or maybe it was something else. But whatever the reason, Tenmyoji only stared. His whole body was rigid, like a rope pulled almost to its breaking point. But it was his eyes that caught my attention. He wasn't staring at us. Not quite. It was more like he was staring toward us. A smoldering spark of... something burning silently behind his gaze. It wasn't until we were almost to the infirmary that I realized Tenmyoji hadn't spoken a single word since the moment we'd found the body. I turned to look back at him. He was following us at a distance, his breathing heavy and labored, his movements slow and shuffling, as if his body was suddenly made of lead. The old woman's body was surprisingly light. Carrying her felt almost like carrying an old, dry piece of wood. We set her down carefully in the infirmary bed, as if we were afraid she might break. She looks so peaceful. 
Almost like she's just going to wake up any minute now. Maybe she didn't suffer much when she died. Let's hope so. Anyway, I feel a little bad about doing this, but I think we need to examine her. You mean like an autopsy or something? I'm just going to have a look at the wound. If we had a coroner, then it would be a different story, but... Um... What? I have a medical license. You're a nurse? No. You're a doctor? Well, I'm not exactly a coroner. Interesting. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover, can you? Sorry. You don't need to apologize. Are you really going to perform an autopsy? Oh, um... I won't really be doing it. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Oh, yeah? And just how the hell do you remember that? Because Alice, Clover, and I examined this entire room. So, you think you can use it to perform some kind of autopsy? Yes. I think I should be able to manage that. Luna ran the scanner over the body, then turned back to the terminal. The display filled up with text, most of it rather technical. Sex female. Estimated age, 65 to 75 years. Diagnosis, deceased. Cause of death, sanguination. Estimate time of death, 3 to 4 hours. Damage trajectory. Weapon entered through 4th intercostal piercing heart. Wound characteristics. Wound margin. Clean, continuous. Wound angles. One sharp, one blunt. Wound cavity, 150 millimeters. Wound length, 30 millimeters. Wound width, 3 millimeters. Conclusion. Based on the characteristics described above, there is a 95% chance the wound was caused by a sharp, single-bladed instrument. Huh. Yeah, I don't really get it. <laughs> What's it mean by instrument? Was she stabbed with a clarinet or something? It means a tool of some sort. A knife, probably. In other words, she was stabbed in the heart, right? Yes. Well, I suppose that clears me of suspicion. Sorry, but no. Why? Please, don't tell me you think my hand can somehow turn into a knife. I told you that was a joke. Then why am I still a suspect? We found the old lady in one of the A-B rooms, specifically the one farthest to the left. Before we went in there, only two other people had been in that room. You and Clover, only one of you was conscious. Fi, please, stop joking around. I assure you, there was no one else in that room besides Clover when I woke up. She must have been put there later. But the door was locked, right? I don't think anyone could have gotten in without the key. Clara Death would be a movie. Would be quite a movie, though. <laughs> Perhaps, but... There was a hatch on the ceiling, remember? The Pied Piper serial killings. That's what we'll call it. Yes, there was. We shouldn't be joking about that, but... <laughs> But Zero said he locked all the hatches. Well, if he was telling the truth, nobody could have gotten in there after you two left. Which means... You fucking bastard! Why'd you kill her, Kay? I knew it. You're him, aren't you? You're the real Zero! Wait a minute, please. Just calm down. You aren't making sense. Let's suppose I am Zero. Why would I do something that would obviously cast suspicion on me? Uh, well, because... Because you figured we'd think that. And you'd throw us off the trail by doing the exact opposite. That's not a logical argument. Still, you do have at least half a point. Your argument doesn't confirm my guilt. But it does show us where we should be looking. The real Zero. The person who brought us here is likely the person who murdered that woman. Doesn't that seem like the most reasonable answer? It's cold in here, so I grabbed a blanket. <laughs> I guess... Yeah, that makes sense. If Zero was the murderer, then they could open anything they wanted to. 
I mean, didn't Zero say something about that? I live in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this cold warren are under my control. Exactly. Also, consider this. If the murderer isn't Zero, why would the AI Zero stay silent? He told us that his job was to make sure the game ran smoothly, but now the unexpected has happened, and he says nothing. Why would he do that? If he can see everything we do, then he must know who killed the old woman. So why has he kept his silence? The answer is simple. The murderer is Zero. Or rather, Zero Senior, I suppose you could say. He likely ordered Zero Junior, the AI, to keep his identity hidden. If Zero Junior told us about the murder, then Zero Senior's identity would be compromised. There was something else to consider as well. Perhaps this murder was not unexpected. Zero Senior murdered her, just as planned. Death is only another part of the game. Killing someone is just part of a game to him? Well, there's no way to know for sure, but I would assume so. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. They went into the woods and got the wood wind stabbed into them. <laughs> I don't know. What was well, that? Well, one thing's for sure. I accidentally autoed. And that is? If we don't go vote, something bad's going to happen. You see? Just as I said. Zero Junior ensures the game continues, even though someone has died. All of this is part of Zero Senior's plan. Let's get back to the warehouse. If we all head to the A-B rooms, maybe we'll see Zero Junior. After all, he told us he'd give us specifics once we'd gone in. We're really going in there? I kinda don't want to. I mean, there was a dead lady in there just a few minutes ago. Huh? Wait. Fi? Where'd you go? Up here. Up? Whoa! What the hell is she doing? You must be really desperate to get high. Seriously? That's the best you can do? I was expecting something about how I jump at the first sign of trouble. There's an entire orchestra of murderers all under the control of a maestro. <laughs> this, this sounds like a B-horror movie. What the f- Huh? Why is that not a thing yet? <laughs> Whatever. What are you up to? What are you up to up here anyway? Everybody's already gone into the AB rooms. Yeah, well, there was something I wanted to check out. And that is? This thing. Remember it? The hatch? Try opening it. No luck. It won't budge. Hmm. Then that means this AB room is locked down tight. No one could get in. You're talking about whoever killed that old lady, aren't you? Yeah. You still think it's Kay, huh? Well, like Clover said, if Zero Senior is the killer, then it wouldn't matter if we could open this hatch or not. I know. I just wanted to be sure. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Let's go. I imagine Algernon's waiting for us. Uh, he's a rabbit.
Look, there's something on the screen. Yeah, you're right. The Ambidex game will now begin. To enter your vote, please touch the start button on your screen. Once you have entered your vote, the door will lock automatically. It will not open again until the polling period has finished. Well, looks like there's no going back now. Astute observation. So have we! We've got some questions for you, Zero. Who was that old wo- Will well, all of you please stop bombarding me with questions? All? The other people in the other rooms are asking me stuff just like you are, Siggy. I guess you probably can't hear them since these rooms are completely soundproof, but B.O. is especially loud! For real, B.O., I need you to shut up! We can't betray Luna. Jumpy, we have to eventually. But yeah, no, I was gonna just ally first for everything. There isn't much time. I better hurry and explain all this stuff, or the game will end before I'm done. Because, uh, yeah. We have to betray her eventually. Sadly. So. No more questions from now on. No answers for anybody, okay? <gasps> you just have to wait. Now, let's get this party started! Let me tell you about the AB game. Okay, yes, we are going left to right. It's on my hands, though. Come on, man! Since it's a game, you're obviously going to have an it's not like this is a battle royale where you just fight everybody. Each round will be a one on one battle. Mono a mono or mono a womano. Well, there are two people in each pair, aren't there? So it'll be more of a two on one battle, I guess. <laughs> now, I imagine you're all wondering who your opponent is going to be. It's actually really easy. You'll be competing against whoever you paired up with to go through the chromatic doors. For example, Siggy and Fido paired up with Mooney and went through the magenta door, didn't they? That means that Siggy and Fido will be playing against Mooney. And it goes the other way, too. Mooney's opponent will be Siggy and Fido. Will do. <laughs> Obviously, that means Potassium and Cleaver's enemy will be Alas. And B.O. and Quirk's enemy will be Tenmi Oldie. Well, I guess enemy isn't really the right word, is it? After all, if you choose ally, then they're your ally. What? Don't get it? Well, don't worry. Just listen while Zero the Third explains it all. First, I want everybody to focus on the screen on the device in the back of the room. You should see A, ally, and B, betray on it. Do you? All you guys have to do is pick! Just pick one of those easy options! Your BP will go up or down, depending on what you pick. It's a little complicated, and some of you are a little slow. So, I made this handy chart. <laughs> that god awful Kelly Girl accent. Zero the third's having fun. The plus and minus are from your point of view. So, let's say you choose ally, and so does your opponent. You'll get two BP, and so will they. And you'll all get a nice, warm, fuzzy feeling inside. We call that the best pals outcome. Just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? Next is what you get if you choose ally. But your opponent chooses to betray. If that happens, you lose two BP and they get three. We call that the stupid jerk face outcome. Somebody did that to me, let's get them in stool with some tires. The third choice 
is the opposite of that. It's when you choose betray, but your nice, innocent opponent chooses ally. This time, you're the one who gets 3 BP, and they're the one who loses 2. We call that the serves them right outcome. I mean, what were they thinking? Choosing ally was a stupid choice, and there's nothing for you to feel guilty about. And finally, the very last scenario. This is when you choose betray, and so does your opponent. If that happens, neither of you gets or loses anything. Absolutely zero change in BP. Uh, boring. We call this the why even bother outcome. As the game master here, this is the situation I want to avoid the most. You're probably wondering about the pairs, aren't you? Well, let me explain. <laughs> Remember how I told you that both people in a pair share a destiny? Well, that applies here too. The two of you only get one vote. You get to choose once between ally or betray. That doesn't mean you split your points though. You both get three points or lose two points or whatever. In other words, what you see on this chart is what you get. Okay then, I think that about does it for the basic rules. If you both betray, you get zero and I don't like zero. <laughs> actually, there's a little bit more. But it'll just have to wait, I guess. After all, it's almost time! <laughs> hey, wait! No, I won't wait and I can't wait. Didn't you hear me? It is time! One minute remains until Abadex game polling closes. You see, it's time for me to be hopping on out of here. See you later! Have a nice trouble. We don't have time to talk about this. Choose Betray. What? You're kidding. You really want me to betray Luna? We don't know if she'll ally or not. If we choose ally and she chooses Betray, we're screwed. That's a loss of two points. You tell me, Sigma. What's three minus two? What kind of idiot do you think I am? It's one, obviously. Exactly. If our BP gets down to one, it's over. So... Wait. What do you mean by it's over? 30 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Just press the damn button! You're hiding something. Yeah, you've been suspicious from the get-go. I mean, how'd you know my name? Or how about when we found that old lady's body? You didn't even blink. Almost like you knew she would be here. Look, I don't want to believe it, but did you... Are you? Fine. If you won't do it, then I... Don't think so. I'm not gonna move until you give me some answers. If I don't do anything, it'll just vote ally for us anyway. So let's hear it. What are you hiding? What's it's over supposed to mean? Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. When your BP hits zero, you die. That's what I meant. One. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. And now I'll take my break. <laughs> so, uh, you know, sit, sit with that uh, on your minds while I go stretch and other things. Unpause this. And Results bang. will be displayed in the warehouse. I have returned. I took my break. It was very lovely. It wasn't a long one, but, you know. I stood up. I stretched. I got myself a glass of water.
Because I'm going to need it. <laughs> Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. As Fi and I stepped out of the AV room, I could see the others running toward the monitor, shoving and pushing to get closer. <laughs> then Miyoji was left behind, his footsteps a slow, heavy plod. What had happened to make him like that? What was that, Sigma? <laughs> huh? Don't play dumb. You chose Ally. Didn't you hear me? I told you that if your BP drops to zero, you die. <laughs> yeah, I heard you. A whole second before the deadline. How can you expect me to think anything through that quick? It would have taken, like, half a second just to process what you'd said. No, you could have done it. Huh? The brain's processing power increases during a crisis. It starts working so fast that a second can seem like an eternity. Your brain was doing that right before time ran out, wasn't it? Well, am I wrong? But what the hell are you talking about? Okay, fine. Let's be generous and say, hypothetically, that you're right about this crisis overclocking thing. How would you know whether or not my brain was doing that? <laughs> fine, need I remind you that you were the last to react earlier. Did you crack open my skull while I wasn't looking? You just wedge a microscope in there and have a look at my neurons? Let me be straight with you. Your shit is whack. Like, hella whack. I mean, you just know stuff you shouldn't. Stuff like my name, or how if your BP hits zero, you die. You told me you don't know why, but... More and more, I'm starting to think you've been lying to me. Yo! What's, what's up? up? Ziggy! Fido! Hey, hey what, what are, are you kids, kids doing over there? Over there? We're, We're about to announce, announce the results. The results. Sorry. <laughs> I have to. I have to. I have to. The reason why I know that line, other than that I like the way that it's read, is that you hear it like six times. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it kind of worms its way into your brain after a while. Time to see what the results are. <laughs> Maybe it's different this time. Huh? This time? Hey! Fight! Hold on! Shit. Good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally, let's get ready to rock! Ambidex game! Round one! The results! If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Here are the results from your game! Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Thanks, Luna. Oh no, it's nothing. You don't have to thank me. I only did what anybody would have done. I believed in you and Fi. When Luna glanced away, I threw Fi what could only be described as a smug grin. <laughs> Rather frustratingly, she didn't respond, only turned away unperturbed. I was about to press the issue when I heard Tenmyoji's voice. Quark, what happened? No, no! It wasn't me! Mr. Dio tricked me! He told me he'd pick Ally! He, he promised! 
That's why I let him do the voting! Is this true, Dio? Are you serious? This kid's full of shit. What? What? I didn't do squat. Quark was the one who decided how we were gonna vote. And you wanna know what he told me? You just leave the voting to me, Mr. Dio. Grandpa's gonna choose to ally for sure, cause I'm his opponent on this one. I think we should betray. To be honest, I'm getting kinda tired of that grumpy old bastard. He's had a good life, but it's time for him to go. What do you say we leave the old bark here and leave? I've got a plan. See? Don't worry about me. I'll just tell him you tricked me. He'll believe whatever I tell him. Besides, if he still trusts me, that'll make it easier to use him again later. What do you say, Mr. Dio? Betrayed by the hats. <laughs> Pretty good plan, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Yeah, you're lying! Yeah, I'm not believing Dio. <laughs> really now? Why wouldn't you? He seems like such an upstanding young man. <laughs> I never should have trusted you. You know, it's not like there's a meme of a pie chart of every time any character across the three games says fuck, and he's the winner of that one by a large margin. <laughs> he's such a gentleman. Dio! <laughs> You're a lying jerk! Sure, kid, keep whining. See if I care. <laughs> Way too much thinking for not Goblin Ken. A large and yes. Grandpa! You believe me, right? Don't let this brat fool you, old man. All of this is just part of his plan. Yeah, this 12-year-old's plan. You bastard! I'm not gonna let you get away with this! <laughs> That's enough, Quark. Don't lose your temper. How long have I known you? <laughs> I could be deaf and blind, and I'd still know if you were lying to me. Really? <laughs> You're just as gullible as he said you'd be. Hook, line, and sinker. Let me give you a little warning, Tenmyoji. Actually, we're gonna just call someone that. It's zero. <laughs> that little shit is a hell of an actor. I'll bet you money he's a born con man. I don't know what he is to you, but if I were you, i trust the kid as far as I could throw him, and at your age, that can't be much. You hearing me, old man? Keep an eye on him. Sidney Robinson is Ken when it's he's not right. a goblin. I understand. I'm so sorry. I apologize. This is very unfortunate. It looked as though another argument had taken place while Quark and Dio were fighting. Whatever it had been about, it appeared to have resolved itself. The past is the past. There's no point complaining about it. I'll just have to try and get those points back in the next AB game. I wish you wore a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Zero, when I know that has nothing start? to do with your situation right now, but I really do wish you wore actual clothes. <laughs> what makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Kick their butts, Alex. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 BP? That's impossible without a second round. <laughs> yeah, I guess you got a point. You're right. There will be a second round. When? I don't know. Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Um, they're already open. Right you are. So, let me just close them. The Amberdex Gates have closed. Round two of the Amberdex game will be the Moon Round. Moon cards will be required to open the gates. Moon cards? Does that mean we can't use these cards anymore? Since they've got suns on them? Yes, indeedy. Now, you'll have to look for cards with moons on them. So, how many times do we play the A-B game? I don't know. As many times as you need to. It's anybody's guess how long it'll go. 
but I plan on keeping this party going until somebody opens the number nine door. So it's over when someone gets nine BP. Nope. As long as that person doesn't open the number nine door, the game goes on. Of course. You could also get stuck just below 9 BP, where every bunny just keeps going back and forth and back and forth and he's losing points. After all, if there's no bunny with 9 BP, the door can't open. If that happens, you'll just have to continue on to round 3, and round 4, and round 5, round 100, round 2000. You might even go all the way up to round 24 billion, 9 million, 4,897. <gasps> Although, I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> hey, uh, can I ask you something? I don't know. There are 100,000 puzzle rooms just in case. Oh my god. There's rules about who can go into the secondary doors, right? Like, you have to have three people exactly. Yeah? So? Well, what about the number nine door? Are the rules the same? Nope. There aren't any rules about how many people can go through that door. It could be one person, or two people, or even all nine of you. Uh, <laughs> there is one thing, Miss Piggy. All that stuff about how you have to have three people to go through the secondary chromatic doors? Maybe it's not 100% true. What? What do you mean? Well, you can open the door with just one or two people if you want. That's not what you told us. Well, I didn't want to make things complicated. Then explain it now. Just use the bracelets. What? How? There's a sort of scanner between the two doors. It checks to see if the right people are going through. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's scanning the people. So it's scanning the bracelets then? Ding ding ding! As long as the scanner sees the right combination of bracelets, it doesn't matter how many people there are! <laughs> but wait, hold on a minute. Do these things even come off? No, yes! They do indeed. Then, then how do I take it off? Well, there's two ways. The first is to get through the number nine door and escape. As soon as you're out, the bracelet unlocks all by itself. What's the second way? Hey, Zero, wake up, will ya? What's the second way? Oh, Bio. I think you already know. What? Do you really want to get rid of that bracelet? Of course I do! Oh, well, I see. It's easy. Nothing to it, really. You die. fact your heart creates a bunch of faint electrical impulses you know what an electrocardiogram is right technically it's a machine that graphs the electric current flowing across the myocardium but you probably know it as the thing in the hospital with the little light that goes beep 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 when someone dies on a tv show the point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. Your fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always watching. So, when that signal goes away... The lock on the bracelet releases, right? Yep. So there you go. The second way. Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. <sighs> Apart from that, there's no other way to get the bracelets off. If you try something harebrained, like trying to break them or something, you'll be disobeying the rules. <laughs> you would go to medical school if Zero the Third taught it? Would you even be able to learn anything? <laughs> It'd be so difficult to take notes. I don't think I need to remind you what happens when you do that. But if you're lucky, you might get to see a few of them come off during the next round! Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that might, that's what I thought. <laughs> Oops! I guess it's not gonna be very lucky for some of you, huh? 
<laughs> Next round. Uh, yep. What do you mean? Well, do I have to explain everything? Somebody might die during the next round of the AB game. <laughs> Zero would come up with too many bullshit rules that would be counterintuitive to learning medicine. <laughs> there. That's pretty clear, right? If I had to guess, I'd say that it's going to be ten the or less. One or the other. Or... <gasps> It might be both of them. <laughs> what? Why am I going to die? Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized. Just like when you break the rules. Murderous psychosis thing Zero has going on. I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is. You mean the needles in our bracelets are gonna activate and we'll die? Correct, Siggy. Full marks. So, if I had been right, but how had she known before Zero told us? I see. Alice and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. What? What the hell? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well... Is there anything else you've conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. There's a game that exists in cards in which you don't know the rules. And you have to figure them out. <laughs> so, you're right, Alice, but also, Mao exists. <laughs> I think it's fair. After all, it's not like anybody else knew. Right? Right? Fido. Y yeah, I guess so. I took a moment to go over everything in my head. These are cold. <laughs> the AV game would continue until someone opened the number nine door. There were no rules about how many people could or couldn't pass through the number nine door. That meant it was possible for everyone to escape. The secondary chromatic doors could be opened by any number of people, so long as you had the right bracelets. The bracelets would only unlock under two conditions, if you left the building, or if your heart stopped. If your BP hit zero, the needles in your bracelet would activate, killing you. Uh oh! One last thing. The next set of chromatic doors you'll be going through are downstairs. You already saw them, right? There should have been three. Red, blue, green. That means that to get through, you'll need bracelets in cyan, magenta, and yellow. But wait! You've already got those bracelets! Have a look! The color's changed, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, it did change. Mine changed from red to cyan. Me too. Mine's cyan now. Mine too. Wait. I guess the colors weren't the only thing that changed. It switched from pair to solo. You're right. Mine switched from solo to pair. Mine is now a solo as well. Yep, looks like mine's changed too. I've gone from solo to pair. I'm still a pair. The three of us seem to be magenta now as well. I'm yellow, and it still says solo. Fi, you and Dio are yellow now too, right? Yeah. Looks like I'm a pair. When did they change? Back when the AB gates closed. As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically! The pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too! And of course, it's <laughs> totally random! No rules or anything! 
everything! Now, with all of that explained, I must bid you <laughs> adieu. Sadly, we may never meet again. What? Well, there's not really anything for me to facilitate anymore. I mean, you guys are good from here, right? I'll never see you guys again. I like how the sad music is playing for this. Like, oh no, <laughs> we'll never hear Zero the Third talk anymore? Aww. Meanwhile, this is the last time we talk to him. And the conversation is only slightly different every single time after the decision. So we get to hear, we get to hear him talk five more times. <laughs> Really think I was gonna cry? Who are we talking to last? Zero, after we go through the next set of chromatic doors, doesn't need to talk to us between every uh, A B game. So, in this timeline, as far as our awareness goes, we will never see Zero and we will never hear Zero's voice. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Suckers! As if I'd cry over you, dummies! What the? You fucking dick! <laughs> you mad? Oh. Anyway, good luck. I may be gone, but I'm always watching. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Have a nice tragedy. That little piece of shit. If I could just get my hands on that little fucker, I'd squeeze him till he popped. That sounds... gross. I don't really want to think about that. Um, so... What happens now? We've still got a while until the chromatic doors open. Yeah, looks like about 42 minutes. We should go and see if we can find any other exits. Maybe there's a vent or a disposal chute or something. If there's a chance Zero missed something. I concur. There's no point in standing around. We lose nothing by looking. And if we find nothing, we can always return and go through the chromatic doors. Let's stare at a map for 42 minutes. Yes, let's. <laughs> let's split up. Five minutes would give us a good half hour or so. Let's meet in front of the chromatic doors five minutes before they open then. Any objections? There were none. After some nods and mumbling, they split up and moved off to investigate. I was the only person who stayed behind. Damn. How the hell did I end up here? Why? Why me? Try as I might, I couldn't think of anything I'd done that could have landed me in Zero's game. I hadn't pissed anyone off. At least, not this bad. I didn't owe anybody money, and my family certainly wasn't rich. If anyone was hoping to get a fat ransom payout from me, they were going to be very disappointed. Obviously, I wasn't some kind of genius, nor was I an Olympic athlete, and I certainly hadn't been chosen by God to fulfill some great purpose on his earth. Well, at least if I was, I didn't know it yet. Had I started a fight with a frightening and mysterious new religion? No. Had I hacked into some terrorist group's server? No. Had I witnessed an assassination? No. Had I gotten wasted and had a one-night stand with the mistress of a prominent politician? Well, yes. But it was just the one time. And she was the one who went after me. Anyway, I was just an ordinary college student. If there was a reason I'd been abducted and put in the nonary game, I sure couldn't see it. <laughs> I 
I held it for five seconds. <laughs> I tried not to laugh so badly. It didn't work. Why was this happening to me? I thought back to what I'd been doing right before I was taken. Memories were still a little blurry, but they were there. <laughs> it's just funny how it's like, oh, did I get drunk and have a one-night stand with the mistress of a politician? Yes, but... Semantics. <laughs> December 25th, 2028. Early morning. California desert. The moon was beautiful. I'd just finished writing a paper due that day and was heading to my car from the research building. The parking lot was empty and a bright moon cast sharp shadows across the chilly pavement. The last time I'd looked at the clock, it had said it was two in the morning, which meant that today was Christmas Day. So why was I at school typing away feverishly on Christmas? There were three reasons. First, my home computer had suddenly decided to eat shit. When I hit the power button, I just got nothing. I didn't have the time to spend all night troubleshooting the stupid thing, so I headed back to campus to use one of the school machines. Second, the professor in charge of my research group was a Buddhist. Christmas didn't appear to have any sort of significance to him, and part of me couldn't shake the thought that he was trying to make some kind of point. Third, my girlfriend had broken up with me a week before. I'm sorry. I don't think we should see each other anymore. Goodbye. All I'd got was that one cold email. Try as I might- Emailing a breakup in 2028? What? <laughs> with her. Dang! <laughs> she didn't even text you. No no DMs on your social media? <laughs> Just an email. <laughs> of course, that meant I wouldn't be attending the party we'd been planning on going to. Somehow, I didn't think drinking by myself around a bunch of happy couples would really be a good idea. <laughs> At any rate, I'd stayed up all night to finish my paper and emailed it off to my professor before the sun began to rise. As I walked across the parking lot, I felt... light. The hipster. <laughs> perhaps it was the relief of finishing my paper, or perhaps it was the five energy drinks I'd chugged to stay awake. Perhaps it was both. I slid into my car and stuck the key into the ignition after only two tries. I twisted the key. Nothing happened. Huh? I jiggled the key in the slot and tried again. And again. And again. On the fifth try, the engine made an odd creaking noise, like metal on metal, and fell silent. God damn it! You stupid piece of shit! I screamed and pounded on the steering wheel, but nothing worked. Console was about to get a visit from my fist when... Huh? What? What the hell is this? Why is my car smoking? I clawed at the door, and for a moment, I thought that it was just my panic and lack of sleep that were keeping me from opening it. It wasn't long before I realized the truth. Shit! Open, goddammit! What was going on? My mind was racing, trying desperately to puzzle out what was happening through a haze of fear and caffeine-fueled neuron misfires. Well, that was when I saw it. Just a glimpse in the rearview mirror, but I was certain. There was someone behind my car. I spun around as fast as a very tired college student sitting in a car can. <laughs> Who's there? My vision started to swim as the smoke filled the car. The more of it I inhaled, the heavier my body felt. I could already feel the world starting to go dark. The last of my strength failed, and I collapsed sideways into the passenger seat. My eyes slowly drooped closed.
When they opened again, I was in the AB room with Phi. Why is this happening to me? I spent a few minutes wallowing in misery. I figured I deserved at least a little self-pity. But even I knew that brooding and whining wasn't going to get me anywhere. Like Kay had said, we needed to at least try and find another way out. So I shook my head to clear it, stood up straight, and headed off. Lounge! Oh, let's look at this map. Look at that gorgeous map. I love knowing exactly where I'm going. <laughs> oh, Sigma. Perfect timing. You were here earlier, right? Yeah, I was. Phi, Luna, and I were the first into this room. Did you find anything suspicious? Like, uh, secret pathway or something. You really think that's the kind of detail I would have neglected to mention? Anything else, then? Anything out of the ordinary? Uh, I mean, not for a lounge, but for, like, an AB game. For a nonary game, there's actual alcohol on the shelf. <laughs> out of the ordinary. Hmm. Well, I mean, everything about this room is out of the ordinary. How about this? Isn't that obvious? It's an astronomy magazine. Apparently it's got an article about a lunar eclipse. It says it's gonna happen on December 31st, 2028. With this map, now our only patience will be- Now only our patience will be lost. Yes, indeed. <laughs> this New Year's Eve, then? Yeah. Six days from now. Wait, what did you say? What do you mean, six days? Uh, well, today's Christmas, right? So... W wait a minute. When were you grabbed? Didn't you hear me? On Christmas. About two or three in the morning? Wait, did they pick you up on a different day? Yeah. I was abducted in the middle of the night on December 22nd. What about you? I... Uh, I think it was the 20th. Then we were all taken on different days. Does that mean we were just... sleeping until the nonary game started? Maybe they kept us on a soporil IV drip or something? In theory, you could have everyone wake up at the same time if you got the dosage right. Oh, that pizza's not for you. I gotta move the pizza back to my desk. Then today might not even be the 25th. Deal for a day. I think that's likely. <sighs> yeah. Some of us were probably abducted after you. There's something about this. The energy that Phi and Sigma have with each other is great because it's... I make bad pun. Other person judges bad pun about how bad said pun was. Then that person makes bad pun. I judge them on that bad pun. <laughs> They've already done it, like, twice. Phi, like, four times, and I think Sigma, like, eh, maybe only once, but he'll make more, and Phi will judge him for how bad they are. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess that explains why I feel kind of dizzy. You too? I felt disoriented since I woke up. My body doesn't feel right. Maybe it's because we were asleep for so long. Your muscles start to atrophy if you don't use them. Uh, then... What day is today? Beats me. I have no idea. Well, what about you guys? <laughs> Deal fire it day, I see, yes. <laughs> Is there anything interesting in the crew quarters or the infirmary? Nah, nothing in the quarters. Oh well, there was a book about a cat. A cat? Yeah, something about a cat in a box and whether it's dead or alive. Uh, didn't make any sense to me though. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really sound like something that's going to help us get out of here. Yeah, I didn't think so either. 
How about the infirmary? <laughs> Find anything interesting? Well, actually, there was one thing. What? I wasn't trying to hide it. The right moment to mention it just never came up. You don't need to apologize. Just tell us what you found. Wouldn't be the first cat we've seen in this game. Well, see for yourself. It's a newspaper article, looks like. Yeah, it was in the safe in the infirmary. Let me see that. Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. Uh, what, what the hell? What's Radical 6? Just read the article. I swallowed and began to read. The Radical 6 virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. H-O-W- or the- what? The W-H-O has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. The how? <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's not right. <laughs> Give me a second. Brain. Do- do you think we're- in a quarantine facility? You mean you think we got infected with this Radical 6 thing? Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Well, we don't know anything for sure, but look at us. We seem pretty healthy. Admittedly, I don't know what the symptoms of Radical 6 are, but if it's killing people worldwide, they must be horrific. Now, just look at this soft, lustrous skin. This perfect, shapely face. Does this beauty look like something infected with an awful disease? You want to touch it, don't you, boy? I can see it in your eyes. Go on. Try. Dio says nothing. <laughs> well, I'm feeling a little weird. That could just be from sleeping for a couple of days. Or maybe it's a side effect of that drug. Now, besides, if this is where they ship people to quarantine them, don't you think there aren't enough, uh, people? This thing is killing people all over the world, right? So why would there only be nine of us here? Yeah, I guess you do have a point. Think about it. Zero is forcing us to play this nonary game. Why would the government quarantine people and then make them play a game? A game where you can die. <laughs> also a good point. Yes, it is. So you're saying there's no connection between our abductions and this virus? Probably not. Hmm. Well, Shh. it's still something we should remember, I suppose. I mean, even if we're safe in here, our friends and families are still out there. That's true. I hope they're all right. Wait a minute. When did this virus actually show up? I've never heard of it before. Neither have I. Me either. So, what day is it? If this Radical Six killed hundreds of thousands of people while we were asleep, just how long have we been here for? <laughs> she, she didn't get the chicken, but you still can't have any. I don't know, he just kind of barked. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. But I'm petting him right now. We're not in, uh, we're not in an escape room. We're not in a puzzle room right now. So, I only need the mouse. I don't think you'll be able to just puzzle that out. If we want the truth, we need to find more information. Okay, I think I'll go look around a bit more then. I've already spent plenty of time here anyway. Uh, Alice and I are gonna stick around. You know, just in case you miss something. Don't really feel like I can trust your eyes. Whatever. I turned around and headed for the exit. Where to next? Infirmary. Infirmary. Inform Mary that I am arriving to the infirmary. How's it going? You guys find anything? Hello, Mr. Sigma. Nothing yet. Oh. Well, 
Alice, Clover, and I did go over this room quite thoroughly. I doubt you'll find any hidden hallways here. Why are you back here, then? Uh, well, I was concerned about the lady you found. Who would do such a horrible thing? Given what we know so far, you're the most likely candidate. Fi, please. Why would I kill this woman? Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying the evidence points to you right now. If we find more evidence in the future, that could change. We were so busy earlier that I never got to ask, but... Do any of you know who she is? Beats me. I've never seen her before. I don't know her either. Neither do I. Well, I suppose I might have known her before I lost my memories, but there's no way to know, is there? You still can't remember anything? No. Not even a little, unfortunately. You better be telling the truth about this amnesia stuff. Are you suspicious of me too, Sigma? Suspicious? Have you looked in a mirror lately? You might as well have suspicious tattooed across your forehead. If someone ran into you on the street at night, they'd probably pass out from fright. Or maybe even during the day. Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we hurt his feelings! Why? I apologize for my frightening appearance. Well, it's not really something you need to apologize for. I mean, it's not your fault, right? No. I suppose not. He's scary, no! Well, I assume not. But... But what? I'm not sure why, but none of this feels particularly strange. The mask and the suit, I mean. In a way, it almost feels... natural. I don't feel as though I was forced into it. Are you saying this is how you always look? No, I don't think that's it. This might be a pretty obvious question, but is there any way for you to take it off? No. <sighs> I've tried several times, to no avail. I honestly don't even know where to start. Ah, but there is something I'd like to ask of you. There are parts of the suit I can't see. Could you have a look and tell me if perhaps there is a switch or something similar? With no further warning, he removed his robe and turned his back to us. It took no time at all to find something of interest. There's a hole here, on the back of your head. A hole? Yeah, looks like you insert something. It says open, so maybe if you put some kind of key in there. You could open up the suit and take the mask off. No bark. I see. That's excellent news. We just need to find whatever it is that goes in there, then. Yeah. Thank you. I feel somewhat relieved. I was beginning to fear I might have to spend the rest of my life like this. Wait! A minute ago, you said that it felt natural. Well, it does. But that doesn't mean I want to stay in it forever. Imagine having glasses, for instance. Wearing them doesn't feel strange. You'd hardly want to wear them all the time, forever, would you? That's what wearing the suit is like. Well, I think that's enough about me. Should we move to the next room now? No. There still might be something here. I'm staying. Me too! I see. Well then, I will move ahead and see how our companions are doing. What do you intend to do? Hmm. I think I'll be moving along too. Where do you plan to go? Crew quarters. I was thinking I might go over to the crew quarters. Very well. I shall head for the lounge then. Until we meet again. Excuse me. Map. Yay. Mm. Should put a kappa next to that. Kay's robe flowed silently around him as he turned to leave. I made my way out of the infirmary behind him. You're deadly serious. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Huh. So these are the crew quarters, huh? Oh, 
Sigma, what are you doing here? Hey, come on, man. Don't be like that. We aren't enemies, are we? Huh. I wonder. What happened to you, Tenmyoji? You've been acting weird ever since we found that lady's body. Oh, you think so? What, you sure it ain't just all in your head? Fine. Let's move on to something else, then. You and Cork. Is he your, uh, grandkid? Why do you want to know? Why? Well, I mean, why do you think? He keeps calling you Grandpa. Of course I'm gonna wonder what the deal is. We all got kidnapped and brought here, apparently for no reason. Now they're making us all play some sort of weird game. Hey, we didn't betray you or kill anyone exactly. I'm just trying to find a little meaning in all this nonsense. That's it. So tell me, Tenmyoji. Are you really Quark's grandpa? Clover? Luna? Sigma, where'd you come from? Shh. Did you not want me here? No, it's okay, I guess. I guess? I just thought Tenmyoji was the only other person here. This is the crew quarters. I came here with Clover and Tenmyoji. We decided we'd split up to investigate. Huh. Makes sense. So, you find anything? Zero. What? Which one? No, I meant I found zero things. Well then don't say zero. Just say nothing. What about you? Anything suspicious? I didn't find anything either. Where did you come from? <laughs> Although, I guess you could say this whole facility is suspicious. Yeah, you've got a point there. So, why do you think Zero put all these puzzles and stuff all over the place? Hmm. Well, maybe solving all of these puzzles is part of the Nonary game. Really? I thought the Nonary game was a couple rounds of the AB game. Why would he need the puzzles and stuff, then? Well... What is the Nonary game, then? Why is Zero making us do all this? Um, well, this is just, um, speculation, but maybe it's for entertainment, so rich, powerful people can watch. Entertainment? Yes. They're probably off in an opulent theater, watching us struggle while they drink brandy and eat caviar. Oh, you think so, huh? So some rich bastards killed her off for kicks. What kind of a death is that? Well, maybe her dying didn't have anything to do with the rest of the game. No, Kay was right. If her dying wasn't part of all this, the rabbit would have said something. But what'd we get? Nothing. Just tells us to keep playing and disappears. I can only think of one reason he'd do that. Murdering her was always part of Zero's plans. Now, if you can think of another way all this fits, well, I'd love to hear it. So you're saying that Zero Senior is the one who murdered the old lady? Now it sure looks that way. That means there's a 7 in 1 chance anybody could be the murderer. Wait, 7? Well, Alice and I can't be Zero. Okay... I'll let the I part go, but... You're gonna have to give me a little to convince me Alice can't be Zero. What? Come on! Alice and I know each other. Well, um, how do you know each other? Uh, I guess you could say we're... co-workers. And where do you co-work? An... organization? That's kind of vague. What kind of... organization? Um, that's... I can't tell you. What?! What do you mean you can't tell us? I mean, I can't tell you. Just forget about it, okay? Why can't you tell us? Because it's confidential. I promised I wouldn't tell. Oh, come on. Don't give me that. Look around you, Clover. You really think this is the time for playing it close to the chest? Yeah. But what if the people you work for have something to do with what's going on here? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should tell you. Finally. Hey, sorry to butt in, but it's time to go. What? 
Time to... Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. It's past time. We gotta go. Huh. You think? Come here. Don't just bark at me from a distance. <laughs> oh. I guess we'll just have to continue this later. We need to get back to the doors. Shit. I guess you're right. Let's go. Map. Oh, map. He walks right up and barks in your face instead. Well, he's trying to get me to do something. He wants me to play with him. But he wants me to stand up. But I'm not going to. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Ugh, you're late. What were you doing? Sorry. An apology is not going to cut it. I can't go through that door without you. Zero said we'd get penalized if we didn't go through the primary door before it closed. Are you trying to kill me? No, of course not. I thought you didn't need a partner to get through the primary doors, though. Are you kidding me? Think it through, Sigma. Yes, you can go through the primary door by yourself. Now, you're standing in front of the secondary door. The time limit comes, and the primary door shuts. Now what? Now you're stuck is what? Without the right number of bracelets, the secondary door won't open. Do you understand? There'd be no way to open either door, huh? Man. That sounds even worse than getting your lungs turned off. Sorry for worrying you, Quark. <laughs> because he's taller than you when you're sitting, I take it. No, he's not that big. In any event, now is hardly the time to be fighting like this. As you can see, the primary doors have already opened. We must hurry and decide who will be going through which door and with whom. So, how should we pair up? We're almost out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. The options fine laid out for us were the following. Option A. Alice and I would pair up with Luna and go through the green door. Tenmyoji and Quark would pair up with Clover and open the blue door. Phi and Dio would pair up with Kay and open the red door. Option B. Alice and I would pair up with Kay and go through the blue door. Tenmyoji and Quark would pair up with Luna and open the red door. Phi and Dio would pair up with Clover and open the green door. Option C. Alice and I and Clover would pair up and go through the red door. Tenmyoji and Quark would pair up with Kay and open the green door. Phi and Dio would pair up with Luna and open the blue door. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. All right, so what are we doing? I'm not pairing up with Kay. Oh? Why not? We'd end up playing against each other in the next AB game. Last time, you betrayed Clover. How am I supposed to know you won't do the same to me? <laughs> you can't be trusted. How unfortunate. To be honest, however, I would rather not go with you either. Yeah? Why's that? Well... You only have, I very much doubt you'll choose to ally in the next Sorry. round. Sorry, didn't mean to skip what you said there, Kay. Even if you promised me you would choose to ally, I'd be in an undesirable situation. You see, I wouldn't be able to choose to betray. If I did, and you were true to your word and allied, then I would kill you. So there you are. That is why I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyoji. Of course, for the same reason, I would rather not be paired with Alice. That's not a problem. Sigma and I will be taking Clover. I trust her more than any of the rest of you. Yep, I want to go with Alice, too. Hey, wait a minute. Don't I get a say in this? I would like to go with Sigma or Phi. They chose Ally last time. Ooh, I like the sound of that. 
I'm Fi's partner. You should pair up with us. Sound good? No. I am also opposed to that choice. If Alice and Clover pair up, and Luna and Dio pair up, the rest of us don't have a choice. We'll be stuck with Fi's option C. I believe I mentioned before that I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyoji. And I don't want to go with K either. Then what the hell are we supposed to do? One minute remains until chromatic doors close. What's wrong, Cork? It's all over. This is it. <laughs> Tell me who you want to be paired with, Kay. I'm waiting for your answer. No, I, I want to pair with Kay. We're all going to die. Are you all right? No. No. That's not it. Don't you get it? We aren't gonna die. We have to die. We have to die here. All of us. What the hell? Oh, snap out of it, kid. Oh, come on, Quark, talk to me. No, I'm fine. You're the crazy ones. Getting so serious about the stupid game. We should just stop. End this. End all of it. End everything. <sighs> we need to get him to the infirmary. Bella's standing in the loft, where I can barely see him. He's making sad noises at me. <laughs> and now he's in the room, barking. Come here! Dummy man? No, we don't have time. 30 seconds remain until chromatic doors close. We don't have a choice. Quark's with me. I'll carry him through. But we still haven't figured out who's going where. I can't afford to be picky anymore. Someone just choose. I don't care who. Sigma, you have to choose. <laughs> what? Why me? Please, just do it. We don't have any time left. Nine, eight, seven. I swallowed. I... Alice and I will... Alice, Luna, the green door. Right. I'm coming. They both took <coughs> off for the door, and I followed behind at a run. Shh. I glanced back over my shoulder in time to see the others head into their respective doors. Phi, Dio, and Kay ducked into the red door. Just as Tenmyoji carried Quark through the blue door, Clover right on his heels. Two. One. Zero. Chromatic doors closing. Map! Whoa. Is this a dead end? All three doors seem to be locked. That's unfortunate. What's this thing here? It looks like the device next to the number nine door. Oh, silly man. Why don't you try pulling the lever? <laughs> Might as well. Huh? Look at the door on the right. It opened. Huh. That doesn't make sense. Why would just the one on the right open? How do you open the other two? You're probably just overthinking it. That door opened. That means we're going through it. Bring it on. Don't go but soft on me now. I'll leave you behind. Come on, Sigma. Let's go. Gollum Bay. What is this place? It is kind of confusing, isn't it? 
What is it for? Well, I think it looks like some sort of workroom. If you say so. We should split up and search it. We need to find, um, key cards with moon symbols on them, right? Yes. They should be somewhere in this room. <laughs> All right. Let's get to it. This one has some good dialogue? Indeed it do. Indeed it do. However... I've been going for exactly seven hours now. <laughs> and should probably stop, since Val has decided that it is time to stop. <laughs> This one also has some pretty good music. So we shall. No, not start from beginning. Fuck. God damn it. This is just a test, not real. Shh. No. No. Shh. There we go. <laughs> Free me! Test. That did work, but that's because that has a Q. Shh. Val, stop. I am stopping. You need to stop. Go. 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 I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I will refund those. Since, you know, stream is ending. No, sit. No, don't come back to me. No, sit. Now sit. <laughs> yeah. But we'll, hopefully it'll be working next time, because it, I thought it worked the first time, but it just didn't work later. But anyway, uh, we're wrapping up here, so goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye.